What's going on, guys? This podcast is brought to you by Manscaped. And if you use my code RBP, you get 20% off your order plus free shipping. Guys, you can't beat the deal. Or if you click manscaped.com forward slash RBP, it'll take you right to this page and it will apply the code automatically. See here, it says, congratulations, your discount 20% off plus free shipping from the Real Bodybuilding Podcast will be applied at checkout. And guys, I want to show you this because this thing right here is the beard trimmer. It's actually my favorite product they make. The, the entire beard kit. So we just click out of this right here. We go to products. And then we go to the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. If you go to this, it literally has everything. This beard shampoo and this brush and this balm I use every day. Uh, this is a beard oil. This is the balm and conditioner. I don't use those as much, even though they're great. But this brush, the beard oil and the beard shampoo and this trimmer have been absolute lifesavers. Guys, 140, you take 20% off that, plus free shipping. Use my code RBP, or like I said, click the link, manscaped.com forward slash RBP. Get the savings, guys, get the free shipping. And honestly, your beard will never look better. Thanks, guys. What the fuck is that? Is that <laughs> Ian's mic? Ian's mic. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. Oh, no, that's awesome. Oh, I got to see. Listen to my entrance music. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's like a, like a... Are you goth? Are you a goth chick? Like, what yeah, are what you? are you? Is that you like an emo look? I oh, can't... yeah. I can't hear the music. What music is it? Damn it. <laughs> they can't hear the music. <laughs> Look at these fucking. Me and Paul are fucking. Yeah. Oh, you oh. got eyeshadow on. Like, you got eyeliner on. <laughs> fucking right, I did. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, you look great. Cool. He is me. Yeah. I got the neck pads. Holy I shit. Got the <laughs> oh, that's great. I think Ian wins. I think I think yeah. Ian wins, Mike. Yeah. I think Ian wins. Mike with yeah, eyeliner is pretty unbeatable. Yeah. The eyeliner is Mike. That's fucking amazing. Oh, wait. Never you, got to that. you ready to complete the look? <laughs> you got the fan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it, Ian. How yeah, long did you have that? Full, how long did you have that plan for? This, <laughs> yeah, like, like just this afternoon. <laughs> you were serious when you said you didn't have an idea. Yeah, look, I got all these neck tats too. See this? <laughs> <laughs> this is a bandit skull. That's some good shit. You know? <laughs> That's awesome. What'd you Mike, make the beard and stuff out of? Mike, you look good with hair. I bought it at a party yeah. store and then just tried to cut it to Mike's shape as good as I could. Oh. <laughs> it's it like was Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan beard. I yeah. thought he, I thought Maybe no, leave, that. no, leave it on. It was good. <laughs> me and me and Paul are fighters, of course. Oh, yeah. Obviously, obviously. We got our we got our a gi, professional geese. Yep, yeah. We're gonna need these anyways. But we're only uh, we're only white belts. And I'm even. I even got. The, <laughs> uh, I even got the Mike merch to to go with it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, you guys killed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you guys did. Paul, we didn't Mike's go hard. Mike's fucking eyeliner is like hard for me to look at, you know? Yeah, I know. Why? Like, you got to wipe that off. Why? <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at the whole time, well boys. The, the lip rings, too. Well the lip rings, too, Mike. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Right. I don't know what I am. <laughs> <laughs> this I give you funny. anything. That's There's okay. No telling. That's I okay. Can't, I can't even see Ian's mouth. This is crazy. You're just like, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, Paul, you went with a you went with a shirt under your gi. Oh, you went shirtless. It's too hot, man. I'm like, fuck yeah. this, going shirtless. I am hot in this thing. Yeah, I'm it's a like man full blast on yeah. me right now. It's crazy how thick these things are, right? Eh? Yeah, they're very warm. No, like it's it's thick as fuck. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I, like I guess it, I guess it's got to be able to withstand like pulling and ripping and shit at it. So. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. How long did that take you, Mike? <laughs> hey, at least 30 minutes right now. 
I was freaking out when she was doing the eyeshadow or the eyeliner. I was like, what's happening here? Like, You're poking my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, the place the place i had to go to to get this wig wasn't wasn't too happy when i walked in there <laughs> <laughs> what did melissa what did, did melissa draw all that shit yeah we drew all these with stencils and then we printed off from his website the w and then just outlined it that's so creative that's <laughs> awesome yeah i never even would have thought then, of that and then just drew the uh the i one on there was it your I, idea or melissa's i thought of something like Mike, that like... i was mike was the one with like like you have a costume, blah blah blah, and I was like, I'm just gonna fucking be Mike, like fuck yeah. this. Mike. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought, I thought one of you was gonna be me. I thought Mike was gonna put a black beard or something, and I'm like, this motherfucker's gonna be me or something. And then this yeah. guy goes, this guy goes and ends up being Mike, and I'm like, this is so perfect. Melissa was saying, wouldn't it be so funny if we, lo- if I logged on, we'd all just dress as somebody else. <laughs> I thought, I, I thought about doing that, but then I'm like, yeah. fuck, if I'm Ian, that means I gotta dye my beard and I gotta get a hairpiece, and then people might still not know I'm Ian. Yeah. So I'm like, it's gonna be fucking pointless. Yeah. See, Mike, has lots, Mike has lots of distinguishables, so it's yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. No, I'm e- emo Mike. Yeah, I get, new picks, I get new. I get new picks tonight too. I want new picks for emo Mike. Yeah. I'm gonna go with my emotions on my picks tonight. Is this a separate person? Is this a separate set of picks now? This doesn't yeah. count yeah. as Mike's picks. Yeah. yeah. Okay, emo Mike. Emo Mike. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be a little bit depressed. Vote, though. Voting with my feelings, though. Yeah, so Mike, you're not going to be too. Mike, you you're, a little, you're a little too happy. Yeah, you can't laugh a lot. You got to just yeah. be like, like that. Like, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> just, que- just question what the purpose of everything is. Yeah, yeah. Shut up, mom. <laughs> <laughs> and Ian, Ian, you just have to be angry at everything. You just have to yeah. be like, everything, everything's stupid. You guys can you guys can debate. You guys can debate and I'll walk yeah. out of the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Ian, I'm fucking I need to order pizza now. I'm super yeah, I'm, well actually I'm I'm glad you brought that up. Oh, I, I, thought of, downstairs. I thought about should we order ten cheeseburgers each? Not tonight. We're gonna do that when we're together. We're gonna do it together? Yeah. For sure. I got someone that's sure. willing to sponsor us and they're from McDonald's. What? You're gonna send us gift cards, yeah, for ten cheeseburgers. <laughs> I think we can afford all 10 of us. Just by, you know, see if I get a bit... sponsored by sponsored by McDonald's, though. Yeah, see if I get a vanilla Brought milkshake. Too vanilla yeah. milkshake, yeah, yeah. See if we throw a vanilla milkshake in there too. No, yeah. but vanilla milkshakes are gross. <laughs> it's like just doing fucking ice milk. Great. I'll take a vanilla milkshake, please, my one. <laughs> Paul, 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 not talking me out of this one. <laughs> yeah. Paul will have some milk. Get Paul some milk. <laughs> lots of lots milk. Of, lots warm, of, yeah. warm milk. But whip it and put lots of sugar in it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's going on, guys? Ian, you're leaving tomorrow. Going tomorrow. Yeah. Um, where are you? Are you staying at Julian's the whole time, or what are you doing? No, I'm I'm bouncing around, hanging with you guys for a bit, him for a bit. I'm just I'm just going with the vibe, you know. Mike, you got you're at a mansion this weekend. No, I have a I have a room at the at the host hotel. But my team, like the crew I'm going down with, they rented a house. Oh, okay. they kind of that was like kind of an afterthought. Everyone was supposed to stay in the hotel, and then they were all like, "Let's just stay at a house." And I already had the room, so hmm. can't look at you, Mike. I gotta look somewhere else where you're talking. I gotta What's look somewhere problem, else where you're talking. I, I like, like my fucking <laughs> the fucking. I, I like it. Mike has feelings now, Paul. Oh, you got the nail polish too. <laughs> you know, normally Mike more normally Mike doesn't have any feelings. He's very like. Yeah. Today, so emotional very, today. Very emotional today. Yeah, so emotional, emotional. I can't emotional. believe it. <laughs> today, Paul, today we can talk about depression and Mike will be right in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. We could just question with my, everything. With my care and haircut. <laughs> yeah. I, I, that, I, you're, you're probably pro environment too. You know what Mike looks like? You know what Mike looks like? When Matt Croc turned to a woman. Oh, no. <laughs> he does. That's true. I'm hotter than Matt Croc. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did he change his name to? Jana Lene Croc or something. Jana. Paul. Jana, you... Jana, Jana, yeah. Paul. Yep. You think is that what you think goth people do? They just question everything? <laughs> <laughs> we question the they do. Said, they do. You've said that a bunch of times now. So I'm just saying, is that is that is that like goth people just question everything? That, that's what I think they probably do, yeah. yeah they just question funny. like everything. Nothing makes sense to them. Yeah. I always yeah. thought goth people were just like uh apathetic. What's apathetic mean? But yeah, what's that mean? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's back a fine up. apathetic. Back up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It's like Webster's like dictionary. You know? <laughs> it means what? 
just like meh about everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. kind of how like I they're said. above it. They're above that. Yeah. You know, no. emotionally. No, I don't think they're above it. I think they're like they don't have any feelings about it. Like, oh, whatever, life sucks. Whatever, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's kind of how much. I was. <laughs> <laughs> so just go to music festivals. Yeah. Ian, you're uh, you're going Where to Julian. Doc Martens up to their thigh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ian, you're going to Julian's tomorrow. You um. Well, no, I'm going. I'm flying to PBI tomorrow, like Palm Beach, mm -hmm. and then just going to stay at the, my house in Florida and get my truck that night. And then Wednesday, I'm going to drive up on Wednesday. I'm getting my hair cut in the guy that used to cut my hair, the barber in Stewart. Yeah, and then I'll drive up after that on Wednesday afternoon. Okay, are you going to see Chris? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. What's he looking like? Can you can you divulge any secrets? Doing a good mic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's doing a good mic. <laughs> yeah. Stop, stop being Mike for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, no, he lo he looks ridiculous. I honestly think it's going to be like last year. I think it wasn't really that close, and I think this year the gap is going to widen a significant margin. You know, really? yeah, I I think it's the biggest, hardest, most detailed version of him that we're ever going to see. Not that we're ever going to see that we have seen thus far, for so sure. Far. Um, Let me ask and, you, you, you said he was bigger. Let me ask you this. I know it's a stupid question, but I want to ask it anyway. Sure. If for somehow, if for some hypothetical reason, we could say he ended up in the men's open, where do you think he would place if he's bigger? In this year, I think he would be like, uh, I don't know. Seven, eight? Seven, eight, yeah. Seven, eight. Sounds about right. Oh, I, right? I, I think he, I think you could put him in a call out with like Hunter and those guys below, yeah. and I think it, yeah. he would hold his own for sure. Yeah, because the way you know, I was, especially, way... especially in certain shots, like his side tricep, his front lat spread, his back double, side chest, front double is really good. But I think his arm size would be pretty apparent next to a guy like Hunter. Um, but I think he's got some really good shots, and his details just on a different level than some of these guys. You know, like through his hamstrings and adductors, and in the side chest, the side leg, delt arms, like. You know, chest striations, just like a lot of stuff you don't get in a lot of the open guys that that I think would really shine in the uh, in the open lineup. You know, so he hasn't lost he hasn't lost any detail, even though he's bigger. No, like look, he's not ten pounds bigger. He's within a within a weight cap. But I do I think he'll be like two to three pounds bigger no, no, than last year. Obviously, he's within weight cap, but two yeah. pounds. I, I think what I'm trying to say is two pounds on Chris or three pounds on Chris is going to look crazy. It's not yeah. like it's not nothing. No, and it and it's and it's a well placed weight. It's not like weight into spots he didn't need it. It's like weight yeah. into the spots where it's going to make his physique better. You know. Yeah, yeah. So, do you think he has more detail than last year? Because last year was nuts. Yes. Holy shit! Where do you see the biggest improvement in, on him, Ian? I mean, his back shots are looking pretty crazy. Like his yeah. back double looks really fucking good. I mean, and that was the thing. Like the first couple of years when he was at the Olympia, and even the first two he won. Yeah. Was certainly what he got critiqued for being his weaker spot. I remember and I that. think 2020, 2021, 2022, and this year, it's like started to really be, come into his own as that being almost a strength. Um, and I think this year, like, especially when you complete with, he's got like, man, I saw his, his hamstrings right now are like fucking dug out, like crazy detail, like just gnarly lumps of shit all over the place. Like they look fucking nuts. Like I think his legs and hamstrings and, the detail through his like glutes back, everything is going to be very, very hard for anyone in that lineup to stand next to, you know, Mike, let me ask you a really, another dumb question. Tonight's dumb question night. I um, dumb questions. Can Chris, <laughs> can Chris become more popular than Arnold if he doesn't do movies? Because in the fitness world, he's approaching the same level of celebrity. Yeah. There's it's hard between like fitness world and then into like mainstream popularity. I think Chris does have hey, some. Hey, Mike, still Mike, within. Mike, right? <laughs> he asked you're, Mike. You're acting like you're, I'm ask, I'm ask, you're asking emo Mike. I'm, ask, I'm asking emo Mike. <laughs> so oh. emo Mike would be like, who cares? Who cares? <laughs> you said Mike. So <laughs> you said Mike. So I'm answering the question. <laughs> sorry, sorry. E emo, emo Mike, do you care to, care to answer? No, really. Sorry, I'll tell you guys. Right? <laughs> <laughs> who cares? I, I don't know. <laughs> No, I don't know. I think it'd be hard for him. Like, I think he'll be iconic in our world. You know what I mean? Like he already is, but to be like worldwide and world renowned, not be able to go anywhere type thing. I think it's 
I guess you have to cross over into something else. Yeah, because like history. Arnold is someone like where like your fucking grandma knows who he is. You know, I know, but I guess yeah. I guess the reason I asked it, you know, obviously I know there's a separation. The reason I asked it is because the fitness world is becoming more and more mainstream, especially yeah. classic and men's physique and those kind of guys are all becoming more mainstream. So could he achieve that level of success or that level of celebrity? Sorry, not success without being in a movie or without doing something. I think it that... really, I think from just where he's in the competitive world now, I think it depends what he does after he's done competing and what he chooses to like stay in, in the world doing, you know, mm -hmm. like if he just wants to kind of quiet down and just do business stuff, you know, and then I think obviously that's going to be harder to have that kind of Arnold iconicness. Um, and obviously his legacy will be forever in, in the fitness world. Um, but to like have something like that Arnold status where it's like, like I said, even your fucking grandma knows Arnold. Like every, hey. literally every human. I think there's not many humans on the planet that if you said, do you know who Arnold Schwarzenegger is? Wouldn't know who he is, you right. know? So let me ask you, I don't want to make this all about Chris. I'm just curious because I, I haven't had a chance to talk to him in a long time. Um, just does Chris enjoy that level of celebrity? Because the reason it sparked my question is when you said, what's he going to do after? A lot of yeah. people might miss that level of celebrity and some people might be like oh thank god i have my autonomy i think back. honestly a lot of people once they get a lot of it crave the opposite you know yeah i think yeah when but, you... when, but when it's gone do you think you'll be like oh fuck i kind of missed that maybe i'll do something where i'm back in the public no because i don't think like maybe if the money went with it but i don't think that's the case so i think right. maybe if you like lost the celebrity and your income went with it like a movie star you stop yeah. doing movies then you're not making money i don't think for chris that's the case so right you know right. i think i think he would love to well, I'm not. I'm not speaking for him. I'm saying for p someone like that. I'm saying maybe after a career being in the limelight, it might be nice to just like be back out of it and like do your thing, make your money, and like enjoy your life and not be like so, you know, in the in the limelight of it. You know, isn't he like he's not 30 yet, is he? He's 29. Coming. Uh, he's born in 95, so he's turning 29 in uh, February. Paul, could you imagine? Like, I know, years is, old. I know this is probably a stretch, but he could probably retire. Yeah. yeah. Imagine being able to retire at thirty. Yeah, if he, yeah, if he played his cards right and like yeah. didn't live like an, live like an asshole, he could retire for sure. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I, I guess I didn't mean retire as in like never work again. I meant more retire like his business is his business is very successful and it's thriving. So he's yeah. almost he's almost in a position where he could be like, I'm good. He could be like a Lee Labrada where he kind of like checks in, make sure the business is going right, yeah. pop back out, go on vacation. Like you know, Lee's there all the time, but only out of like. Uh, out of want not need yeah right? casual yeah yeah casual so i feel like chris is almost in that position right for sure yeah, yeah. To, to be to be there i'm not even 30 yeah that's that's incredible amazing what else does he want to do, do you know? good question. i don't really know the answer to that i know he i know the business stuff is really what interests him now like building these brands building these companies i know they want to do you know clothing stuff and it's more with the supplement brands and stuff but i'm not sure other than that you know yeah i think that's a I think that's really, it's, how can I put this? As somebody who's doing something that's growing slowly, obviously not to the level Chris is, but like, I think when you see, when you start something and you see it growing, you're like, oh, I can do so many more things yeah. that, I, yeah. that, I'm, that I'm interested in. Yeah. Because now I know I can make one business work. I kind of have a template as to how to make a business work. Yeah. Then you can start doing other things, like whatever else you're interested in, right? Like we can, yeah. we can start making geese, Paul. Yeah. Or, making... or having our own fight school. We could have our own fight school. Yeah. Yeah. Tournaments. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder though, Chris, like I don't know Chris very well. Um, but he strikes me as someone who probably uh like he like he values family. Oh yeah. Um, so I could see him wanting to retire, like not saying like he's gonna retire right now, but I could see him being like someone who wants to retire early so he can spend time with his family, you know, like wherever that yeah. might be. Yeah, I have no idea like if he wants to win ten Olympias or what his goal is. Um, but whenever he does decide to hang up competing, I think, like I said, I, I could see him being someone more that like buys a big ass property somewhere like a little more rural, you yeah. know, brings all his family kind of close to him and just fucking does his yeah. thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I could. Uh... Yeah, that would be pretty. That's pretty fucking incredible. I, I um... I'll be I'll be right there to ride the coattails. <laughs> hey, what about us? You're gonna bring, you're gonna bring us right. Bring us on vacation, man. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. I won't wear my eyeliner. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's pretty cool? Um, I think of this sometimes. I don't know if you guys ever think of this, but like these things don't come along very often. Like these kind of people don't come along very often. 
No. Like the last, you know, who was the last one? Arnold was in the seven, late 70s, 80s. So it's like, it's kind of cool to be around at a time when there's like an icon coming through his career and watching it happen. Man, imagine from my side, like I've seen this in yeah. every single, I've seen it from the day one of yeah. all, like from a first hand, you know? No, but I'm just talking like strictly yeah. as a fan. Like even like, I know I'll, I'll relate it to you like this, like Barry Sanders. Like people talk about great running backs. And I'm like, I used to watch football in an era where Barry Sanders yeah. played in his prime. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. I got to watch him yeah. play football. Right. So it's yeah. kind of cool that we're part of a sport that's like, it's this icon is coming through. What I yeah. will say is selfishly, I hope he doesn't retire. I mean, not, I not that, not, not that he's going to, I would just like to see him win. Cause you know, like, um, well, I mean, eventually everyone retires, but I'm, I don't no, think, no, I know. I'm but not I'm saying, saying like, any, I would like to see him fucking win as many as he could. You know, I'd like to see him win like 10 Olympias just so it's like never break, gets broken. It's like, yeah. this, you know what I mean? Those one-off things that like sure. ba barely ever happen. Yeah. But anyway, enough about Chris, since he's not here, we're just talking about him like fanboys. <laughs> um, Mike, what's good this week? Anything good? Actually, before, sorry, emo Mike, I'll go to real Mike. <laughs> Call me M. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> Paul. <laughs> I can't look up Mike. Paul can't keep it together. <laughs> He's always flipping his hair in front of that eye. <laughs> I'm in character, Paul. Yeah, I'm in I, character. I, I know you uh, are. You're killing it. <laughs> Mike, uh, Ian, Mike, you judge this week for the first time yeah. ever. Yeah. People on this channel have been, and I read all the comments, and people have been like, Ian's got to be a judge. They've been saying this for like two fucking years. Yeah. So finally, you had your first judging debut. Finally did it. How did it go? It was great. That's it? You're just like Mike. You're, Mike, he's Mike, totally taking he's on your Mike character. Him. Yeah, he's like it's great. Oh, ask us something. Give us something to work with, man. <laughs> ask me a ask me a specific question. Well, I just mean like, what was it? Did you did you were you nervous at all? Or you're like, hey, I know the shit like the back of my hand. That I'm not nervous. Like you were test judging, right? You weren't judging, judging. I think, yeah, I was testing it. So were you nervous at all to make the wrong call? Like, did you have to like talk anybody into your decisions? Like, did no. you have to explain your decisions? Like, well, how did it go? No, nope. no. Nope. Explain explain to people the test judging process. Yeah, so test judging essentially you're just you're like sitting the the panel and I'm sitting with them. I was just sitting at the end, but like sitting with them. It didn't look like I was like separate from them. Yeah. Um, and I'm just scoring the show as I see fit. Um, and then handing in my scores. Like I was handing them in, like as Paul knows, like after every like once the class goes, you submit your scores and then you kind of pass them down the line, you know. Um, so I was doing the same as everybody else. Um can I ask then, you before you go on, can I ask you a question? When you sure. saw a class come out. Were you leaning over to look at the other judges score or asking him their opinion or were you just writing your score and passing it? No, test judging you're not technically supposed to, but like I mean there would be times when we would be like I'd, we'd be talking about stuff and you know like mm. maybe a girl would come up and she'd be in a certain class and she'd be like I'll give you an example. There was a girl in bikini that was like as hard as a fucking women's physique competitor. Yeah. I'd be like, "Man, this girl looks awesome, but she is fucking hard as nails," you know? Mm. Like you, there'd be yeah. comments like that um you know like where we would kind of discuss things but not like you have this person first second like you know it wouldn't be that much yeah 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 um but like there was discussion amongst like how the people looked or what we saw or like things like that to a small degree for sure especially at finals like once the scoring was kind of more done then yeah there was yeah. lots of open discussion were you, for sure. were you worried and and look this isn't like uh i'm not saying this because you don't know what you're looking at but no were you worried Keep ever that were you worried ever that you're like I know what I'm looking at, but maybe they have a different opinion. Like, were you worried to write something down wrong? Like, or that you no, didn't agree no, with? No, because, no, because I knew that, like, say I did. And then Ron after was like, you, you are completely off base here. What the fuck was going on? I knew that in my heart of hearts, I could defend every decision I made. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's I was 100% confident that if he, if he was like, these were completely different than, than a few of us, I'd be like, well, let's pull up the video and I'll explain to you exactly my decisions and maybe you'll understand. And I, I would, I'm would, i wholeheartedly confident that he would have seen exactly what I was saying if we had to look it back, you know? Paul, that's correct a, that, That's an important point, I think, because a lot of judges, um, especially like newer judges, you have to be able to articulate why you have things the way yeah. you do. And if you can't articulate it, then, you know, you need to figure that out for yourself. Paul, you know? can, I, like, can I just wait? Two, like, take, can, sorry, go ahead. Can I just say, Paul, you should have that red headband on every episode. It looks great. Yeah, yeah it, with, the gee, with gee or without gee. It doesn't matter. The red headband really doesn't. You're tough doesn't. as shit with that yeah. thing on, man. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. You're scaring okay. me over here. You're scaring me. Yeah. Red or should I go a different color? No, no, red. Red. Because oh, red. Red. Yeah. Okay. It, okay. it makes your face look less red. Does it? Yeah, yeah. it offsets yeah. it? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Ian. Go offsets ahead. Offsets the blood pressure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember what I was saying. Anyway, I, I think the question... Oh, what I was saying, I was saying, 
you know, to like, and I was talking about this with Paul, but like, you know, in certain classes too, like, especially in level one shows, some of the, some of the people, like the classes are so random. Like you'll get a, like a class yeah. physique class and you'll have a guy with like good shape and like good muscularity, but he's fucking fat, you yeah. know? Yeah. And yeah. then you'll get a little guy with like not as great shape, but he's peeled out of his Shredded. body. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know? So you have to just like make that call of what you think is better in classic, you yeah. know? So, um, but I, no, I was confident, but, and when it came back around to the actual, like when they were announcing the awards, I judged every class 99% how they saw them. Like there might be yeah. a person where they ended up in fifth and I had them in sixth or fourth or, you know, someone that I had in first was in second or second or first one yeah. place variances, but almost the, the entire top fives I had the exact same as the panel. Like it wasn't, nothing was very different. And when Ron, I talked to Ron today and he's like, you've got a great eye for judging. I looked over your scores. Like they were great. You're good. Yeah. You know, good. Paul, can so, I ask you a question? So <clears throat> when someone, okay. So Ian's going to be a little different. Number one, he's a veteran of the sport. So he knows exactly what he's looking at. Number two, he's got very strong opinions. So he's going to be able to articulate, defend whatever he picks. Mm -hmm. Is there ever test judges that come on that maybe don't have the level of experience that are just trying to like match the other judges or like, are most of the judges that they pick for test judging, are they very like solid in their, in their, their picks or their articulation of the, of their picks? My experience with test judges, I've, cause I've, I've, ha I've had a few test judges the last few years uh, for shows that I've had judged. And uh, most of them are, you know, they're, they're, they're in it for the right reasons. Like they, you know, they, um, they have a passion for the sport and they want to learn how to become a good judge and uh, they're there to learn and, uh, and, and become a good judge. Um, the only time where I've seen what you're talking about, I've seen it at the higher levels where someone might be jumping up to a higher level now. Mm. Um, not just not ready yet, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And they're doubting themselves. So yeah, they're yeah. like, you know, might be, they are checking over someone's shoulder, you know, to make sure they're, you know, I can see uh, that. I can see that being hard though. If you go from judging like a regional show to judging a national show, yeah, because there's so then, because there's so and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like because there's so few spots for like a national te national level judge or an Olympia judge or a pro judge, I feel like you don't want to get it wrong because they'll fucking send you back. And smaller room for error too. That's what I mean. You know, like, yeah, gonna be, they're gonna be like this guy doesn't know he's looking at. Send him back to the regionals. Right. Yeah. Because I mean, like, if someone's test judging a regional show, maybe they're off in their scores, but they can articulate things and they're willing to learn, and that you know they have the passion for the sport. Then you can maybe can work with that person. But yeah. someone who's trying to get to a higher level, who's un not confident yet, and uh, you know who still needs to look, is, is you know isn't quite there with their own decisions, then maybe they yeah. should stay at the regionals for a little bit longer. Yeah. 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 So overall, Ian, was it like? This is a totally like different question because was it fun doing it? Like, did you have fun sitting there? Cause it's a long day. Like Paul, sometimes honestly, the day doesn't feel as long as it does when you're like sitting in the crowd. It okay. didn't feel that bad. Yeah. Like, it yeah. Really How big was the show? Huh? How big was the show? It was like 80 competitors, I think before mm -hmm. crossovers, but there was a lot of crossovers. So like yeah. there was some competitors that were doing like, you know, masters or novice and then their open class and then also doing classic and doing classic. Like some people are doing like four classes, you know? Oh yeah. You get that at all the regions. So, like you sure. must've had almost double it with the crop crossovers. Yeah, so it was like, a, were... especially in the bikini and the classic physique, like you had some good classes with 12, 15 guys, you know? Yeah. Good. So it was like a three hour prejudge maybe. Two yeah. Hours? It started at nine 30 and it probably went till no nine 30. And then we took a break at like 12, 1230 for like 30 minutes and then another maybe hour or two. So yeah, maybe four hour pre-judging. Yeah. That's kind of weird, Paul. They went like three hours before a break. Well, we did. Then... We did all the men's classes, then took a little break and then they oh, did. All okay. The okay. Okay. So they were just trying to group them that way. I get it. Yeah, yeah. And there was, and there was time, like they didn't want to make the show like, and they also didn't want to like have people being ahead of schedule too much, you know? So they kind of like yeah. slowed it down a bit, you know? Okay. Cause so they, being... told the, they had told the girls a specific time of like 1230 so they were like, when we were done kind of the men's at like 12, we like took a break, you know? Yeah. So being the extremely competitive person you are and ambitious person you are, yeah. are you like looking at this like five years down the road going like, hey, I could be like a fucking Olympia judge or I could be like a pro judge or I could be like maybe. Yeah, I mean, like look, that's, that's obviously the goal. Like, I, I don't know what, I, I have no idea how long that takes or what is it, it what's involved in that but whatever the steps are I'm willing to take them and I'm, I'm down for it i mean even when i messaged ron today i was like said that i had a great time thanks for the opportunity and just said like you know whatever other shows like if you're needing judges like i'm more than welcome to do more and learn and you know you know get as much uh like judging time under my belt as i can you know yeah yeah 
Well, it's awesome, man. I think it's great that you're doing something yeah. different, something new, but you're still involved. I'm yeah. glad we get to nobody, judge together now. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it was Hopefully good. Not. I honestly had a lot of fun. It was like it and Paul, it's exactly like Paul said. He's like, You're gonna have after the show, like every single competitor asking for feedback. And I've had yeah. almost every single competitor ask me for feedback. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. I think yeah. it's I think that's gonna be I think that's a well, little and, and Paul's noticed this has been a little different since like you've been on the podcast yeah. and stuff. Oh, absolutely, for sure. People are like they want to ask your opinion because you're a judge, but they also want to ask your yeah. opinion because they know you. Yeah, yeah. They they listen right. to you every week for week on end for I had, I had some people that I knew that were like that were there when they found out I was judging, they were like shitting their pants being on stage because they knew I was judging. <laughs> they know how harsh you are. <laughs> but they're, yeah. but they're always, yeah. I'm like, yo, my scores, are, my scores aren't counting you, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure like, you know, because you were a last minute um, uh, addition to the show too, right? Not yeah. last minute, but very late. So I'm yeah. sure a lot of competitors were probably, you know, that was, that was probably a big moment for them to be judged by you. Well, yeah, and I, and I showed up too at the, at the check-ins and stuff. So like they were oh, there you? and Ron said that I was going to be judging. So a lot of these people didn't know. And then all of a sudden the day before the show, they're like, Ian's judging. And he yeah. didn't say that I was test judging. He's like, Ian's judging. You know? Oh, nice. Yeah, really. Yeah. Look, That's look, awesome. I, I don't even, even without judging, as a competitor, that's nerve wracking. Because yeah. I don't know, I don't know yeah. if you ever felt this way, Ian, but like, I remember my second year as a pro, I remember in the, like Sean Ray being in the audience at one show, I think it was a Dallas Europa, I believe. I don't remember exactly, but I remember thinking to myself, fuck, Sean Ray's in the audience. I'm like, yeah. and it's kind of nerve wracking to you because you're like, this is like an well, icon. I yeah, I so know the, the first time I ever had Steve Weinberger judge me at a show, I felt way more nervous. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. like I was like, this is the guy that's the head judge of the fucking Olympia. Like his standards are fucking high. Like, but I even, you know, but even not judging Ian, have you ever had like, uh, like somebody you might have looked up to when you were starting out in the audience and been like, holy shit, that guy's in the, like before you were a seasoned pro, like in the beginning. Not that I recall, but no, no. Okay. Um, Mike, are you going to start judging? Sorry, emo Mike. <laughs> who cares who gives a fuck <laughs> what's the point what's the point we're all gonna judge we're all gonna die we're all gonna die, we're all gonna die one day. Judge. <laughs> everyone's gonna die one day who gives a it's fuck we're all dying every day <laughs> so you can fuel your suvs i yeah. wonder i wonder if it's <laughs> Paul's Michael. got a real hang up with the goths. <laughs> yeah. You're fine. Oh, yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> Paul, I don't think Sons goth people bitches. are. Wait a minute. You keep conflating two things, though. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't feel like we're, con I, we're confused. We don't know what I am. I don't we're feel like goth, <laughs> I don't feel like goth people are like tree huggers. No? No, I don't think they give a yeah. shit. Like, ah, we're right. all gonna die. Who cares? <laughs> I don't know. I, you're just, I you're don't just know. putting you different you're, groups. Who you're just putting in like other group shit yeah, on I top guess of. So. Yeah. He's like, just, just so irritated about vegans. my presence. Yeah. Vegans, yeah. yeah, I'm 100, yeah I'm 100 vegan. By the way, you're probably gonna glue yourself to the road. <laughs> the don't stop oil, motherfucker. You know, I watch those videos all the time. Oh, they're great. Eh? Oh, I watched one the other day where like like people like running over protesters and shit. Yeah, I don't know if any of you have yeah. seen the don't stop don't stop oil or stop oil people, but they're it's, it's more big in it's Europe, I think. Bigger in Europe, yeah. yeah. So I remember, I saw one where they were sitting on the ground crossing their legs, and this bus just wouldn't stop. Yeah, it was just I doing like that. it was doing like one kilometer an hour, but it just kept rolling. <laughs> yeah. So they would be like they would sit down, and then when it got close, they would get up and run back like ten feet, and they'd be like, just sit down, just sit down. So they'd all sit down again. The, the bus could just kept rolling. Keep going. <laughs> they just keep getting up and moving. <laughs> but I like, seen I seen a couple where a couple like a couple guys get out of the cars and yeah. grab them by their shoulders and drag them off the I've, road. I've seen those too. Yeah, I don't want to get into political shit, but I think I take this, that too. off. That's itching the shit out of me. Oh come on, man! You're just ruining the look. <laughs> well, let me find the hair that's itching me then. <laughs> um. So Ian's a new judge. Mike, anything new or emo? Mike, anything new this week? <laughs> No, nope, nothing new. Just getting ready to go down to the Olympia on Wednesday. Yeah, you right. guys yeah. will go down Wednesday, right? I'm when, I'm, I'm in Wednesday. Friday. Paul's in Friday. I'm in Friday. So so Mike, there is. Where are we staying, Foot? Sorry to cut you off. Where are we staying? Uh, there's like apartments. I Ben and Hunter are staying there. There's like a it's like an apartment complex. It's like a three bedroom apartment. So who's staying there? Just me and you and their me, wives. Me, you and, and our me, wives. Me, me did at points. Mike's in a okay. or Ian. I don't know. New Mike is going to come in here and there. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think Alora was going to stay there on Sunday night. Okay. Um. Anyways, uh, emo Mike, you do have huge news. You got your first booth ever this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited? Or nervous? Not really? Or scared? Don't be no. emo Mike for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I might I'm just stay home for it. <laughs> 
No, I'm no, pretty excited. No, seriously, I know I know you're not like a huge crowds person. So like, are you? How does this work for you when you get to this spot? Are you like excited to go meet people? Or are you like nervous to meet people? Like, what is the? Or are you nervous you don't want to, to fuck up the booth your first time? Like, what what what's going on? Oh, uh, it's more so like. It's like, you, know, you guys know me well enough by now. It's not like, I'm not, I don't like necessarily to be the center of attention. Yeah. I'm like pretty quiet guy. So it's just like, I've been in crowds and like, and shit like that doesn't bother me because of what I did before. I've been in crowds of people that are five, 10 times the size of anything the expo is going to be. Yeah. So it's like, that doesn't work. It doesn't freak me out or anything like that. It's just like the. I meant more crowds. The weird, there, yeah. Crowds there for you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's what I mean. It'll kind of be, I'm used to being in crowds where like, I'm not the focal point. Not yeah. to say that like, there's going to be a crowd, but it's just like, you guys know, like when you feel like there's all like eyes on you, you're kind of yeah. like, oh man, like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Do you I just want to a... be cool and like, just meet people. I don't want it to be like some formal thing where it's like, step over here and like, oh, like, you know yeah. what I mean? It's fucking weird. Do you have a, this is going to sound so fucking weird. Do you have a storage room or something or a room where you can eat in your booth? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I made use of that. Cause there's times where like the eyeballs would start to like get to you a little bit. And I'd be like, yeah. I'm going to pop in the back room for a bit and like, I would do that all the time. Take gather, a gather myself and then come back out kind of thing. Or like, we got a, we have a tower in our booth. It's like, I want to say it's 20 feet tall. It might be a little less. Yeah. So it's like, it's like a whatever by whatever, but it's for, it's like TVs on each side and then graphics up each side. Yeah. And then inside that tower is obviously hollow storage and like a kind of yeah. quiet area, right? Sure, mm. sure. So has it all been pretty seamless putting it together? Because I know when we were doing our first booth, it was like kind of hectic, like kind of planning everything and making sure everything goes right. Or is everything? Well, good? it was seamless till, from <laughs> what I understand, two weeks ago. And yeah. fucking, then all of a sudden, magical new charges start getting added on and fucking. Mm -hmm. Oh, you need this, not this much. You need that, this much. But it's like stuff that obviously we fucking need because we have other things that need it. It's yeah, like, yeah. Why do you guys do that? Like, well, it's yeah. funny. It's funny because you end up with like when you start three months ago or whenever you started, you end up with like this sum. This yeah. is how much it's going to cost for your... No, it's okay. it, Yeah, it's like building a house. By the time you're done the house, like whatever you thought it was going to be, it's like... Double. Yeah. Yeah, it's like 30% more. Yeah. yeah. So who do you have at the booth as like... I don't want to say is I don't know I don't want to sound like douchey, but as far as star power goes, like you're gonna be there. Like who else is at the booth like with you? You dude, know. what the fuck? Well, I know your friend. <laughs> I know your I know I your you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know your friends are coming, but like is anybody else part of Wicked or is it just kind of you hanging out? Just me, man. All right, one man show. Just me. Yep. Ian, are you gonna be at the rock? Uh, sorry, go ahead, Mike. No, I just don't I don't think that I'm ever gonna get to the point where I where I have athletes where I have people that are like under me. Cause I just, it's Why? just me. Right. So I don't know. I just, can you, that's can my, you explain that one I have a vision. Me? I have a vision for what my brand is and that's just what my vision is. So can I don't want to veer from that. Can you explain the vision? Just cause I, I want to know what you're talking about. No, it's just like my, my brand is me and yeah. my brand is what I think and how I go about things. So I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind. And I'm, I have people coming that are, that I consider to be, like associates of mine or people I consider friends. So like, but you think they're, like, yeah. they, yeah, they're like-minded. I think, yeah. Like I think like you guys, you guys think like me, we're all friends and we help each other and represent each other. Just like if Ian had a booth, I'd go to Ian's booth. If you had a booth, I'd go to your booth. Like, yeah. So it's yeah. like that kind of community I'm trying to build where it's not like I'm like, it's, it's going to sound bad, but like, I just don't, I find athletes in a general sense to just be fleeting and fucking full of shit. So yeah. When it comes down to it, do I want to be associated with people that are flakes and fucking have my name stand behind that? I don't know if I I don't know if that's worth it to me when I could just take the time to spend spend that money that I could spend on giving a person fucking money just to push my shit that I could spend on marketing, that I could spend on other things that could bring attention to my brand and like maybe elevate my brand as opposed to like, oh, I gotta so and so will do it for me. Can I can I mean it's it? like can I offer a different perspective just so I can not, not saying like, not trying to talk you in anything, just saying like from my, pers my perspective as to why I have athletes. No, um, I'm not, I'm not saying that you shouldn't. I'm just yeah, saying yeah. that for me, for you to explain that to me is thinking that I'm telling you you shouldn't. It's just, yeah. this is what I think I should do. Yeah. So yeah like, no, I don't, I don't, I understand where other people are coming from and it's, it's, 
it's across the board what everyone does, but it's not what I want to do. No, but for me, it's this is what I was trying to explain is for me, it's not only um, can this person person push my stuff. Like when I signed Samson, this can sound maybe this sounds stupid, maybe not. I want to go for the ride. I was like, I want to see if I can help this person get to where he wants to go. So yeah, so yes, he's gonna push my stuff. But at the time, Samson had like, I don't know, twenty thousand followers or ten thousand followers. So I was like, yeah, he's gonna push my stuff, but I want to actually see what I can help him with as far as his bodybuilding career goes. So there's that as mm. there's as that aspect also, and it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that with Sam, to be honest with you. Like, yes, Sam has access to millions of people now, but I'm also like, what's going to happen when this kid competes? Is he going to be great? Like, I want to be, I want to be part of that, right? So that's kind of also one of the reasons why it's not just, um... yeah, which I get, and also it's my, your brand and, and other brands in bodybuilding are are heavily spent, like heavily heavily centered around the sport mm -hmm. of bodybuilding. Yeah, whereas my brand is more around the mentality of bodybuilding. Yeah, I don't, I get it. I'm not, I don't look into get people on stage and yeah. have you do represent you think... me. I'd, I'd rather, I'd rather have someone, if I was ever to sponsor someone, I would sponsor someone like, like how you sponsored Sam. Like he's never competed. He yeah. has the, he has the complete outlook and like philosophy we all had. Right. And it's like cool as fuck to see, like, that's a cool thing. Right. Yeah. So like, yeah. that would be something I would gravitate towards as opposed to like a Samson or whoever, because like, not that I don't want them to do well. I want them to, my emo pick tonight for the win is Samson, just so everyone knows. <laughs> and fucking, I want to see all those guys do well, but it's just not where I want to like, I, that's such a deep space. And mm -hmm. like, you've carved your way into that so well. Like there's revive, there's all, read, all these people that are yeah. like, in, they're heavily in that space. Right. Where it's like, I don't want to be in that space. I get it. I want to like. Yeah. I want to be on the fringe of that and like something I like else. I like that. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah, no. I don't. I'm. There's no place for me there. I don't have the. I don't have like you guys see me like I have. I love bodybuilding, but I love bodybuilding in the gym. I don't right. love bodybuilding on the stage. Right, right, right. Like I love it to see it, and I'm like, fuck, that's amazing. But like, I yeah. don't live for it. Right. I live for what happens in the gym. So that's where my yeah, whole brand centers around. I can yeah. respect that. So mm -hmm. can I ask you? You know, we don't usually talk this in depth about stuff like this, but what do you see for your brand? Like, is it always a clothing company? Is it maybe a supplement company? Is it something else? Like maybe you branch off into other things, like maybe you're going to write training books. Like where do you see Wicked going? No, we're, we're evolving into something else soon. Maybe you can't, you <laughs> it's can't up in the air. You can't tell, well, I'll tell you guys. I'll tell you guys off, but not on here. I'm excited. Yeah. Now we really have to. Let me just pause this for a minute. Let's we I want to know what you're talking about. No, no. It's not that excited. You don't need to pause it. I already know. I already know because I'm Mike. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's in there. <laughs> um okay. Well, Mike, we wish you the best this weekend and we're going to be there to help yeah. promote promote the fuck out of it. Yeah, I'm going to need you guys to book your times for the times you're going to be there, please and send them to me. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, Mike, just let make you know uh, <laughs> to be, to be How many honest hours with, can you do, guys? <laughs> I got nothing to do, so I'll be there as much as possible. I'm going to You heard it here. You heard it here first. You know what? I I do want to say to be there. <laughs> I do want to say I do want to say one thing. Uh so I'm going to be doing the press conference unless they change their mind the last minute. But I kind of want to do something a little different. People, because fans don't really get to ask questions, it's more coming from people they've chosen. If anybody watching wants to put their question for the press conference for any of the athletes in the comment section, I'll try and pick a couple of the best ones and ask them for you. Yeah, that's because good. I'm because I'm kind of thinking like, you know, people have awesome questions, so I'm curious what people want to know. Maybe that'll be. Cool and I'll Especially just, if, it's a, if it's a bro chat question, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't. I don't ask those. How many times <laughs> do you guys use a towel? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's only I'm, gay if you're gay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no, not going to. I'm going to try. You're very excited. You look great. But how many times? <laughs> I'm going to try not to embarrass myself. So try and make them bodybuilding Olympia related questions or else I'm not going to bother asking them. Anyway, um, Ian, are you at? Uh, are you at a raw booth this weekend? I'm at raw booth Saturday, uh, Friday for two hours, Saturday for two hours. Yeah. Is it is the expo only Friday Saturday? I think so. Hmm. What time's the show on Friday? I think starts six. at night or six p.m. Yeah, six, 6 p.m. Yeah. yeah. I think I might have extra tickets, but I, they might be spoken for. But because I think Mike, you said you weren't going to go to prejudge, right? I mean, I might. 
I'd rather if I had I think, to choose. I think you I'd should rather go to the final. But you don't have to choose. I think you should go to both, man. The the good stuff happens at prejudge. Yeah. Well, I, I shouldn't say the good. It's a 50-50, but it's we still, got yeah, room for everybody. Yeah. yeah, we Listen got room. <laughs> <laughs> what's on your what's on your what's on your arm? What the fuck is that? A pig? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Does anyone know? <laughs> Who cares? Okay, we're, all, we're all gonna die. Who cares the fuck? Um, okay, let's uh let's go through our final final picks of the Olympia. Wait, before we go through final picks, we haven't actually said what we're doing for this. There's got to be like a heavy bet on this. Yeah. I don't know if I like the tattoo idea. Why? I don't like tattoos. You don't want to put a hostile tattoo on your body? Whoa, we didn't say hostile. Well, yeah. I, think, I think I think like, everybody should to get to man. pick. I think everybody should get to pick. The winner should get to pick the other person's tattoos as long as it's not ignorant. Okay. That leaves a lot of leeway. Well, we have to kind of, we kind of all have to agree. Like, I can't say like, you know, put a fucking, you know, penis on your forehead. Put a vagina, <laughs> penis on your. I was going to say vagina, but all right, done. That's it. Penis on forehead. Go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Paul? Well, Tat- tattoo. Just because it's so permanent a tattoo. What would you rather? So that, do? That's my hesitation. I don't know. I don't know what I'd rather do. You got to shave your beard for six months. You can't get a haircut for six months. <laughs> yes, that's good. Okay, but you too then. Six months is a long time for it. Well, you said, you, it. you said it first. <laughs> you, well, you know, you, but you said the six months about my beard. Um, yeah, but I'm just going to switch it. We both just can't can't cut our hair for six months. Okay, I'll do six months without a beard. No, no, no. Oh. Six months without hair, without cutting your hair. Without uh, cutting your hair. Ooh, six months. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get you, like? You oh. can't trim the sides either. Not even the neck. <laughs> no, you trim your neck. Wow, six months. I'll be I'll fine. Six no, months. I can't, you can't trim your months. neck hair. That's it. Hey, you three months. Three months is still long. Yeah, bro. three months. That's gonna look so bad. Ten weeks. Okay, what's he no. gonna do then? Three Ian? months. Three months. Okay. Ian's gotta shave his head. Okay. I'm, no, well, that's stupid because I'm shaving my head when I go to church. I know, next. I know. Yeah, yeah. Um, See, this is why I like tattoos. It works for everybody. I'll, I'll so. do a tattoo. I'm. Da- I'll get a tattoo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everyone picked their picked their poison. Everyone picked their punishment. Okay, I'll take a tattoo. I'll, I'll shave my beard off. No, that's not that's a punishment. A tattoo that's that's a fuck, no, fuck that. I'll, I'll have a mustache. How about I just have a mustache? No, no. You got to grow your hair for six months or get a tattoo. It's three months. Six. The Four. tattoos tattoos forever, man. You do six months with hair. I have like events and stuff like that I have to do during that six I'm months. I'm not gonna probably. get a fucking tattoo. It's gonna be in my body forever. <laughs> but you can put it like somewhere so no one will ever it's see still, it. It's gonna be there for the rest of my life. How big is a tattoo gotta be? Size well, of a back size of your of... fist. Yeah. Size of your fist. Yeah, yeah. Like a like a deck of cards at least. Like two fingers? No, a deck of cards. What? <laughs> like that's not big enough? Two fingers? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Like this. Yeah, yeah. Like at least that. Yeah. Like a deck of cards or a pack of zin. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any tattoos, Paul? I got one stupid one. He's got, a, he's got an Asian tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> it was the, the Asian. Montreal. The Asian craze. Well, yeah. It makes, it Whatever. makes sense when he's a fucking kung fu fighter now. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, now, actually, now, yeah. Now, yeah. now it fits. That's right. Yeah. Maybe I'll get another one of those. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Another Asian, I'll get another Asian tattoo. You get another Asian one, but we get to decide what it says within yeah. reason. Yes. No, whoever wins, they have to get their name. Like, I know Paul on you. Yeah. Or, I know Fuad <laughs> on me. <laughs> I, I love Whoever's the top I, winner, they have to get their name on. I love Fuad in Chinese. Wait, Mike, so what are you saying? The winner, <laughs> like if I win, Paul has to get yeah, the I, lowest loser has to get sorry, the lowest loser has to get the top winner's name. Like I know Ian on his body somewhere. Or no, Ian's my homie. So who's the one that's doing something? Just the loser Wait, or everybody need, else? No, this is what we need. We need tiers of punishments. So if you're second, third, and fourth, <laughs> punishments. So let's say it'll be fourth. If you're fourth, if you're last place, you have to get the tattoo. Okay, yes. but what's it? But then we got to set the parameters on what the tattoo is. Okay, we can decide that at the time, but it's a tattoo. Yeah. Okay. Second place, we can do something facial hair or head hair because that's like the least permanent and not so bad. Like, like any of us, if you're second place, you got to shave your beard for any of us, except well, for Mike. No, no, no. I don't like that for Ian. Ian's got to have a mustache. Okay, I'll do a mustache. Okay, no Mike, mustache. Yeah, because because Ian with a shaved face probably looks fine. So the mustache will look like a dork. He's a yeah, beard mustache limits. too. Though. Yeah, we can't limits. keep Mike's beard. Mike has to get his head tattoo removed. The W. 
<laughs> well, Mike, you get it'll, sti- it'll still be there because it's just a hollow W at them. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> well, since he was wearing it today, he has to get either the lip or the nose ring. Ooh, okay, rubble, rubble tongue. Oh, no, not tongue. <laughs> Mike has to wear you eyeliner. Took, you just took it above fifty percent gay there, Paul. Mike has no, to wear. I, you know, my reason why because forty one is the it. limit, Paul. Forty one. <laughs> Mike has to wear eyeliner to for wear every, for every podcast for the rest for of how the long? Year. For the rest, I'm of already the year. doing it with no debt, no bet. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, for I don't what? know. We'll think of something for third place. Second place is hey, facial people, hair. We'll get the comments. People in the comments, give us some good things for second, third, and fourth place. So let's yeah. reconvene then in a couple of days and we'll uh yeah. we'll set set the ground rules. Yeah. All right. So what does the top winner get? Yeah, what does the winner get? Yeah. We, we discuss punishments. We haven't discussed the winner. I so guess you just get bragging. What, the, what do we want? What does people you get to want? laugh? You get to laugh at the others. No, you gotta a get drug, a, a drug fueled weekend in Vegas. Yeah. 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 <laughs> next, the next time we're together. I mean, next time we're together. Party week. <laughs> winner gets winner gets everything taken care of. Oh, yeah, or when if we ever go on vacation together, theirs is covered. That's what I'm saying. Flight, hotel, okay. Yeah. Drugs. Yeah. Food, everything. Okay. I don't do drugs. I don't do drugs. Okay. <laughs> that was the one thing I was sitting here when I was getting all this done and I was like, man, the one thing I need to complete this outfit is a fucking 5-hour energy bottle. <laughs> you know julian julian wrote me about that did he yeah. what did like, he say? just don't just don't kill ian with that five hours <laughs> <laughs> uh okay let's go to our picks we have milos has entered the fray oh uh ben entered samson Derek, hottie brandon hunter nick he put nick in six which i, which wow. I think was it's a big mistake. Wow. Uh, yeah. Andrew Usually. Crizzo, Tony O'Regan. These, these, these three, I think, are pretty good. Even though Crizzo looked pretty crazy in his most yeah. recent update, he's fucking huge, man. Yeah. Yeah. This, you see him take next to Regan, and Regan's a big motherfucker, yeah. and humongous compared to Regan. This one, yeah. this one is going to be Ben's uh, downfall. Uh, downfall, yeah. I think. Yeah. And then we have Milos. Can you see a picture of Crizzo. Yeah, we're, I'll pull it up in a second. Milos has. Samson, Hadi, Brandon, Nick, Derek, Andrew, Hunter, Crizzo, Regan, Hunt, Tony. Derek and fifth. Derek and wow. fifth. Yeah, Derek and fifth. That's pretty fucking wow. crazy. Yeah, I can't see that ever happening. Yeah, I mean, it's really not like fucking Derek if he because he seems to really not like Nick and he put him above him. Yeah. yeah, he says that he thinks uh he thinks Derek's legs don't match up and the front of his body doesn't match the back. He basically when we were talking about it. I think most of what he was saying is that Derek is basically good because of his back only, which I think is a stretch, but that's kind of what I got from what he was saying. Um, you want to take a look at Crizzo, you said, right? Right, um, Emo Mike? Yeah. Well, I don't really care, but... <laughs> we can, if you want, but... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter in the end. Uh, this is what uh, Ian was talking about. Here's Crizzo next to Regan. He is fucking huge, eh? You yeah, won. he's a big man. Jesus, I don't, I don't really think he's that far in front of the in front of Ian as far as the camera goes. There's not no. an angle, you don't think? He's a little bit in front, I think, but not a lot. Yeah, like, dude, I've seen he's... this. I stood next to this guy on stage and at the press conference. He's fucking massive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but there was a recent, like, most muscular he threw up. I don't know where. I'll check the tagged photos. Oh, I think it's this one. Yeah, look at this fucking detail in here. No, it might not be that one. Let me go to tag photos. Where the fuck did it go? There it is. Look at the detail in here. Yeah. Oh, these are itching my fucking arms. Mike, you see that shit? Emo Mike? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's uh he's pretty fucking impressive, man. His, <clears throat> his, I think if his He's got some of the craziest arms ever, man. Yeah. You know what it is with Crizo for me, and I, I could be off on this, but for me, it's like everything has to come up to match his shoulders, arms, and yeah. chest and chest. Because yeah. yeah. it's not it's not like super unbalanced. It's just a well, little no, it's, bit. Just the, it's the back, it's the back glutes and hamstrings that yeah. hurt him. Yeah. 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 It's that's the one thing. Like you look at guys like you know, I think Derek, it's also Derek it's also... Hardy, Nick, you know, these guys like the fucking backs and hamstrings on these guys are outrageous, you know. Yeah. But I, yeah, I also yeah. I also feel like the legs from the front need to fill in a bit more too, though. Yeah, because he's tall. Yeah. 
He's got a shorter, tor- shorter torso, longer legs. It's not that his legs are bad. It's almost like a Regan situation, like maybe more ab- adductor. Or like, yeah. Uh, let's see if I can find a better shot of his legs here. These are, I mean, they look pretty crazy there, but you can't yeah. see. You, because he's got a shirt on, you can't really be- tell the balance of it. Find stage shots there. See what I mean? Like they're it's great. The sweep, it's the sweep is yeah. low. If you see the sweep is starting like a third of the way down. No, I understand that, but I feel like this yeah. gap, this gap is also hurting him as well. Yeah, I mean, his aren't bad, there. but I think it's just the, where his sweet placement is. It's kind of like Nick's where they're a little lower, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he does, look, a... does look great. Yeah, he does. I think the thing that hurts him the most, honestly, is just his lat insertions. I think Crizzo could be a dark horse. I'd like to see him next, I think to, so Andrew, too. next to Andrew. Yeah. He is one big son of a bitch, you know? I think mm-hmm. him I think him next to Andrew will be interesting. But you see the hamstring yeah. here that there's a little bit of a gap there. You see it from the side. But you can too. even keep it from the side, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. actually pretty good from the side when he drops it. It yeah, it hangs from the side well. Yeah. I like yeah, I think he could easily be a guy who sneaks into the top six or seven. See, this is where he loses it a bit. The the glutes are just a little undersized. Hamstrings look good there though. Yeah. Detail. They're not oh, a lot of depth to them, but they're still good and corded and they look good. I don't know, man. That's, that's a nice pretty shot. fucking impressive. Looks really good here. Yeah, it looks yeah, better. That's a nice better. shot. I think was him that next to show to... that he won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think him next to Andrew is going to be really interesting to see. Yeah, yeah. Taller, bigger guys. Yeah. yeah he looks great here. Let, me ask you guys, let me ask you guys something crazy. What's the likelihood? What's the likelihood somebody like Crizo or Andrew? And I'm I'm doing this thing again that maybe you guys don't like. End up in the top five. No, I'm putting the, I'm doing this thing again where I compare taller guys. So I'm like, what's the likelihood that somebody like Crizo or Andrew could compete with Samson? Well, they could maybe get a I think look I think I think compete, compete with is them. compete with is the wrong word. Maybe jump ahead. Is there a like is there any possibility that could happen? No. Only if Samson's off. Quite a bit yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, like 10% like, off at least. Andrew, I think, has a little more detail going from him from the front, but I think Samson overall is way thicker side to side in the side shots and definitely just more complete head to toe, more detail in the hamstrings, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, so going back to this, final picks. Uh, we read off Milos. We think Milos is going to lose because of Derek. Yeah. But Ben's going to have a problem because of Nick. Yeah. Uh, I got to put in James. James gave me his pick, so did Roman. I think I put those in. Abdullah is going to lose because of Nick. And Hadi. Nick and Hadi. That's a big problem, Abdullah. I think you might have F that one up. <laughs> um Okay, Mike. Hadi, Derek, Samson, Nick, Andrew, Brandon. What are we doing here? Are we keeping this the same? I'll be right back. Sorry. Emo Mike. I wanna, I wanna fuck. <clears throat> I really don't want to fucking do this, but I want to put Nick in second. Okay. And then uh, whoever the fuck I had in second, where Nick was. Derek. <laughs> so you're putting Derek. You're switching Derek and Nick, putting Samson mm-hmm. ahead of Derek, but not ahead of Nick. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could see that. It's a possibility. I think condition is going to be the name of the game. Are you sure you, know you want to put Nick in second? Fuck this. Fuck this. I want to put Samson in second. Yeah. I'll pick Nick in third. Yeah. And leave Derek there. Is this Evil Mike? If I lose, Mike. I lose. This is, this is Mike Mike. Okay. That's Mike Mike. Okay. Paul. Okay. Can I have a look at my picks? Oh, wait. Where are they? are over here. Paul. Okay. Oh, that's kind of poopy. <laughs> you're totally gonna get spanked on this. Oh, for it! You're not. You're not. You got. Okay. See, you have thirty Move years. Of judging, you have thirty years of judging, but I'm. I'm actually. I've actually been in the game. Yeah. Okay. Move. Uh. Let's move. Uh. Crizzo, where am I moving, Crizzo? I'll leave him there for now. <laughs> um. I got to think this through. This is. This is a very heavy bet. Yeah, this is Brandon. Go over to mine for a minute. I'll if he's thinking then. Okay, okay go, go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna do a couple things here. I think I'm gonna put Crizo ahead of Hunter. Crizo ahead of Hunter. Hunter. Okay. So now he's gonna copy Ian's picks. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. That's uh, what I was struggling with. Oh, well, you should have picked it first. <laughs> I think okay. Ian kind of clued, and that's what I was doing. 
Oh, you mean he got it from you? I think he got it clue. That's what I was looking at. Yeah. Okay. Ian, anything else? Derek, Adi. I can't decide if I want to keep Derek in first. It's hard to say, but I know. Is Derek going to win the Olympia? I mean, he was pretty close last year, and I think he's going to be a lot better. But, like, I also know that Nick's going to be a lot better. Samson's going to be a lot better. Put look at my picks again. What? I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch. Uh, I'm going to put Hottie in two spot. Hottie in two, Derek in third, Nick in fourth. Can I switch my... Like eight through nine. Is that what you want, Paul? Yes. Eight through nine. What are you doing here? Crizzo. And Regan 10. <laughs> oh, sorry. Antonio. Yeah. Okay. Ian? I think I'm okay. okay. Let me go back to mine. I'm the only one that has Derek. So I need like something. If I get the winner, it's, it's like a big decision thing. So it's like, I don't want to change it to have the same winner as somebody else. Cause I could win it literally just by having a winner, you know? Yeah, you could. It's like a, it's like a risk I have to take. It's like, do I, do I think that any of those other guys could be? No, him? Yeah. No, no, so wait, one minute. wait, wait a minute. No, you couldn't not based on this guy's. Oh no, because we're using that. Right. Yeah. We're What's using that. This. What does that mean? Placings it's off. I mean, placings off so, you are, Derek, does a calculation. So, so Paul, if Derek takes second, that means. Ian was one placing off. So you put one here. And then yeah. you do and then you get a score oh. at the bottom. So it's just how many yeah. places off you are. It's not Oh, uh, and then yeah. lowest score wins. Yeah. Lowest score wins. It's like yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Who, whose idea was that? Some my, guy a guy made it. I sorry, I don't have his name, but he made it and sent it to me. It was oh, my okay. it was my idea. I made this for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Good job, Fuad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anybody else changing anything? I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna put Nick ahead of Hottie. I'm gonna switch those two. I'm going to go Derek, Nick, Hottie, Samson, Brandon, Andrew. Yeah. One second. Okay. What are you doing, Ian? Derek. Just watching Derek. Uh, no, Nick and Hottie. Nick second, Hottie third. Fuck, it's such a hard one to pick, eh? Those top four or five are so for it. Top eight. I'm good. I'm ten. sticking with it. I'm good. Everyone's got the same eight, nine, ten pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. The Tony O'Regan's tough. I, I'm, I'm, I'm debating changing those two, but I think I'm going to stay. I'm trying to think of who 11, 12. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Who's 11, 12, 13, 14? We got Griffin, Presty, uh, Theo, Justin. Justin. Can Justin beat Griffin? Maybe. Uh, Justin, I've been, yeah, Justin's been looking pretty good in his updates. Justin, I don't, Justin looks good, man. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be big enough to beat Griffin, though. I don't think I he's big enough to be Regan yet either. I, I think he's big enough in certain spots, but I just Griffin's back is really good, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's like and then Ross too. Yeah. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna put Regan nine, uh Tonio ten. I'm torn between Griffin and Tonio. I don't know if Justin will have enough size to be 10. Yeah. I think or, Justin's going to be around that 12 spot or so. The problem with Justin is he's going to have great shape yeah. like like Tonio will. Yeah. But I don't know if Tonio or Justin are going to be dense enough to be ahead of Griffin. Because Griffin's condition is going to be good enough for both of them. It's just a matter of now it's going to be... dense enough. I just don't know if he's big enough. That's kind of what I mean, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I think Tonio's got a better chance of beating him. Because he's got just a little bit more complete, I think, right now at this so stage. Think, of his career so you than... think you think Tony will be ahead of Justin? I do. I think Tony will be ahead of Justin too. I just don't know if Tony will be ahead of Griffin. Yeah, I I, I personally believe he will be. I, I like his physique a little bit more. I think it's a little bit more complete. Yeah, but um, we'll see. I mean, Charles Griffin's looking crazy. Uh, there, I saw a video of him doing back rows. His back looked insane. Tony, Griffin, Justin. I mean, I guess if it's going by closest placing, it doesn't really matter because they're all going to be around that 10, 11, 12 spot. I'm going to fucking go with Tonio just because I like his physique. It's going to be a personal pick. Okay. Are we good? Is that it? Yeah. yeah. So are we all different? Yeah. Actually, me and Paul are fucking pretty close other than Brandon Andrew. Antonio and Regan. Yeah. Me and Paul are pretty close. Me and you are pretty close. 
Yeah, me and Mike. Me and Mike are almost the same. Except for Brandon Andrew. Brandon Andrew. Antonio Regan. You and Paul are actually closer, Mike. I think. Screw it, though. Antonio winning. I don't want to be like Paul. (laughs) (laughs) You want to be on the winning team, Mike? (laughs) Okay, is this it? We're good? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Paul, final bets. Okay, let me just take one final look at it. We're locked in from here on out. You're not allowed to see the sheet again. Okay. Crizzo, Brandon, Andrew. Andrew ahead of Brandon. That's going to be your undoing, Paul. Start listening to his desk. Paul, this is going to be your undoing right here. (laughs) You think so? Brandon is looking really good. I to just go out on a fucking limb and put Nick in first place and to see, you know? Go ahead. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. Fatal, fatal error. Fatal error. <laughs> well, um, with with this scoring, it's like it's not like we used to do it. Because what we used yeah. to do is we placed more points. Yeah, like if, if Derek is first and Nick is second, I'm only one place off for each of them. Yeah, yeah. this is a better yeah. way to score it, I think. I don't like this scoring because we used to it used to put more emphasis on getting the the people in the right positions, like as far as like how high they are, instead of just like this points shit. But I now, think it shows your your picks are better shit. overall. Yeah, no, what I what I like what we were doing before is if Nick wins now, say in Ian's case, that kind of kills everything. It beats everybody else. And I like that more because you have to pick the fucking winner. Like we should can change I, can I, can I, I, I that devalues just, the rest of the picks. Yeah, I which I don't text, like that I idea. You can just text Hani and ask for some pictures of Derek so I can just like put this in my mind, you know? I think you should get more points for Wick picking the winner. I was just gonna say that it should be like instead of placings off, it should be like Getting first right is worth five points or ten points. Getting or you second. or you or you shave two points off your final score for getting the winner right. Something oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, we could do something like that. We could shave two points off for getting the winner. Yeah, How's that? let's do that. We'll do this. We'll do this strategy, but you get to minus two points if you got the winner right. Yeah. 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 Okay. So does that mean you want to keep this then, Ian? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> like I, I want to because I, I know Nick looks fucking nuts right now, but I'm like, it's so hard, you know. But everybody looks nuts. That's what makes it so hard. About Derek, I'm just I'm just expecting to be wowed by Derek. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna keep Derek in first and put Nick in second. I think Nick is gonna look fucking incredible. Yeah. But but, so but that being said, I think everybody else is gonna look fucking incredible also. Uh, yeah. I think I think Hottie's gonna come in more conditioned than he did last year and bigger. Nick too. I think Nick will Derek be too. Nick will be in the same condition as last year, but bigger. I think Derek will be the same condition but bigger. So I honestly expect to see Nick in the Arnold condition, but with the fullness and size he had at the Olympia. I can see that. Yeah, Nick's gonna correct whatever you know mistakes he thinks you know he they yeah. think he made last, last show for sure. Yeah. So last time, you know, Nick's best conditioning was the Arnold. Nick's best fullness was the Olympia. So he's going to combine yeah. the two. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but then it's same goes for the rest. Like when you listen, when you talk about Derek, Derek's going to be bigger and harder. Yeah. The only thing is Hottie's like, going to be, Hottie's right. going to be bigger and harder. Samson's going to be, Samson's bigger, going to be bigger, and harder. bigger and harder. I know. The only thing with Nick is when I think of it, like, especially next to Hottie and Derek, he's so dominant in the thickness and the side shots, you know, yeah. he's just like his side chest is side try. He's so dense and so big. That side leg is so gnarly. And I know Derek might, and, and I don't think Hottie will, but I think Derek might be a little better in the back shots, a little prettier in the front shots. But I think Nick's, oh, ah, fuck, it's fucking tough. I'm keeping I it think, I, I think you're, I think you're, mm, you, I you think, could go back and forth all I don't, night. I don't, I don't think you're looking at it right because, so I think what's going to happen, this is my, my opinion of it is, They're very close. A lot of the, all of the, not all of them, but like the top four or five are very close on the side and back shots, top three, four, whatever. But I think Nick might lose some ground on the front shots. I I agree. Because it's not, because I think what the mistake people make is, well, this guy won four poses and this guy won three poses. So the guy with four poses wins. No, no. But but it's also the gap in which they won those poses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like, like like you said, and it's all the other like, the other small tangibles of like, you know, they're posing, how they controlled their midsection throughout the things, how they yeah. handled six rounds of posing and where they gassed out. Did they start fading? Right, like, right. There's and still and also, there. and also I think, you know, you made that point last week, Ian, you know, certain poses have more impact. 
yeah. than right. others. You right. know, and and if you're gonna and if you're dominating yeah, those back poses, are gonna have the most impact, and those are good shots for Derek. You yeah. Know? So I'm I sticking think, where I'm at. I think. Uh, what are the least important poses? You think? Side Mike, tricep. Right, tricep. Emo Mike. E- emo Mike. Emo Mike. What do you think? Side what tricep, are, just like Ian. Side tricep. What else? I think a lot of guys butcher that. That's why they've just like given up on it. But what what else do you think? What else do you think is a is a not a throwaway pose, but less less important? Most muscular, to be honest. What's that? Yep, 100%. Mike, Mike, let emo Mike answer. <laughs> it's okay, man. Talking? I'm used you're, to being ignored. Uh, <laughs> nobody cares about me. Nobody cares about me anyway. You say Mike, I just I just hear me with my parents. Yeah. <laughs> e- emo Mike, if you're judging, no, are... I mean, I I like most muscular, and I think most muscular can like, and if not sway the judges sway the crowd yeah, sure. in the sense that like yeah. if you hit like if you hit a fucking yeah like crazy crab or like hands clasped like you know what i mean like yeah. and it's down to the wire with two guys like you know who won yeah in yeah, the yeah. crowd if the judges yeah. don't know so i think another throwaway pose even though i don't think it's a throwaway pose it's abs and thighs i agree like it's just the like, reason it's think... a it's like a moot point like you're like oh it's sick he's got nice abs and crazy can i like, ask but you then we're waiting to see the most muscular right after can I ask you guys this? And anybody can Paul, maybe you can answer this first. If is it is the side tricep and the ab and thigh, if we all agree those are like not as important or whatever, is it because those are easier to hide things? It's funny actually that we're saying this though. I'll oh, sorry to interject here, but it's, okay. it's funny actually judging this weekend. Now when I think of it, I probably had a couple guys that were close where on a side tricep that I gave them the edge, you know? Yeah. No, I yeah. don't think listen, all poses count. Yeah. But that's but that's what I was trying to say with my question was, Paul, you can answer. Do you think that it's easier to hide things in the side tricep in the ab and thigh, and maybe that's why they're not as heavily judged? I think those those two poses, particularly the side tricep, if if it's especially waist, it's very hard to hide a yeah. a, a large waist on that pose. Hard, um, hard, hard to hide. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, you're yeah. distended. The guys' yeah. arms behind your back. I don't agree because what guys are doing now to hide their waist. Like if you look at like Hassan, when he was uh, competing as Ian, for example, they would do that like kind of artsy side tricep where they would you like- can't do that anymore now though. Yeah, but they have been up to now. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, well, I thought so, that was like, a step in the right direction, getting rid of that. No, no, I know. But I'm saying like a lot of guys would hide their waist because they could twist into it a little bit. And like usually a guy with a wider waist, you can't see it because he's, he's bladed sideways. Yeah, and that's yeah. why they were doing so, it, yeah. Yeah, so, but as a judge, as a, as a, like most judges knew that's why guys were doing it that way, though. Yeah, yeah, but you so, judge what. Yeah, but you judge what's in front of you. Not you can't be like, oh well, he's in a side tricep and I can't see his waist, but I know he's got a thick waist, so I'm going to pen- penalize him anyways. Right? Not that you're penalizing, but you but he's hiding his waist by doing it that way. So what I'm looking for in that pose, particularly, is taper. I want to see the taper from the shoulders down to the waist in that pose. So if you're okay, hiding but, it, okay, but I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Nick in a side tricep doesn't look like he has a wide waist. But from he the, doesn't have a. But from, Nick, the, but from the front, it's not a small waist. Nick's waist is is from the front. It's it's wide, but from the side, right. it's not. It's not distended. Right, that's what I'm saying. So like, you can hide a wide waist in the side tricep. Maybe I or, worded that wrong. Or, or, or a wide a wider waist. Sorry, I don't. Distended, yeah, like, dis, more distension, yeah. stomach distension. Yeah, is what I, what I should have said. You can't hide distension. I agree. Yeah, because like that's even someone true. like a great example is someone like Joe Seaman has kind of a wide waist, but has right. an amazing side tricep. You know, right? right. That's right. that's what that's what I meant by hiding. Like you can hide that wide yeah. waist. Well, you're talking about yeah, wide I'm sorry. I'm talking about distension. I, I right. said it wrong. What I should have right. said was uh, like extended yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, abs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But that's but that's one of the things. See, this is my point: is front front shots, whether it be a front well, front lat spreads a little bit easier to hide, but front lat, front relaxed and a front double. You can't really hide a wider waist. You're no. fucked, right? Yeah, yeah, front lat a little bit. Yeah, you're right. But front so what, double. So what I'm so what I'm saying is like side chest, side tricep. You can hide more things, but I feel like the side chest is such an iconic pose that that one counts more than the side tricep. So I guess what I'm what I'm asking you, and I, and I won't argue this point. I just want to ask it flat out, and you guys can answer: Is a side tricep and an ab and thigh? less important because it's easier to hide things or it's let why do you think it's, if it's not that why is it less important i'll say why i think it is it, or if you want to go first Paul. No, go ahead no. ian. go ahead ian i think side tricep becomes a little less important because you're doing the side chest before it okay 
Um, so you're already seeing them from the side. And I think you've kind of judged them from the side and kind of seen, you've seen everything. the side of the leg. You've seen the you've shoulder. Seen it. You've yeah. Seen, yeah. And yeah, then yeah, I yeah, think yeah, yeah. for the abs and thighs, it's like one of the last poses you've already seen their midsection from the front. You've seen their legs from the front. Yeah. You've kind of seen everything already before that. Yeah. Um, and it's yeah, not, true. you're like, you're not showing new things. So I that's think true. side tricep and they're like the last two poses. And then like Mike said, most muscular is just like the fucking wow factor at the end. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it has a little excitement behind it, even if it's not like the most important thing, like a front and back double. Um, but I think those last three poses, it's like, you've kind of seen everything already, yeah. you know? Yeah. That makes sense. Cause if you do the because side, like, as a judge, as a judge, like you can see front double, front lat, side chest, back double, and you can really make your decision. You know, I guess, I guess this goes to your previous point. The one thing that you're not hiding in a side tricep is your distension. Yes. If you're yeah. distended, if you're distended, it's hard to hide in the side tricep. Yeah, but but you'd also possible. probably, yeah. a lot of guys, you would have already probably seen that in them just moving from their front lat to their side chest. You know, some good, mm -hmm. some guys are good at hiding that though. Like some guys are good. You, at, like, you would assume that yeah. they'd be good at hiding it yeah. in their side tricep too then. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I mean, because in a front lat. Oh, like they can like put their arms or like, yeah. Yeah. In a front lat, you're pushing together. They can push it sides. Yeah, yeah. And then when you turn, your arm is kind of in front of your stomach. Yeah. So or the kinda, guys that do do this, you know, and then yeah. turn. Yeah, I've yeah. done that. Yeah, I've mm -hmm. done that. So, yeah, okay. So, okay. So how did we get to that? The side tricep, we were talking about poses. So, yeah, yeah. we were talking about Nick winning uh, over Derek or over Hottie or over Samson. And I think my personal opinion is it depends how much he's fixed. You're winning. How much he's fixed the gap in those front shots. Because I feel yeah. like. Part of the reason why he lost the Arnold because Samson was so much better in the front double in front double lat, yeah. in the front lat that it especially took a the front lat yeah mm -hmm. that it took a even lift. even front relax too I think front relax is one of the most most right. impactful poses right. I agree because that's your, that's but, what everyone's looking at the most and and, I, and that's what I mean when when Nick turns to the side he's winning but now he's playing catch up mm -hmm. yeah because and I lost. honestly noticed that a lot mm -hmm. too this weekend like yeah. that first impression and Paul can speak to that you can see like. Guys can walk out and you can immediately see who your eye is drawn to right off the front relax. Right. Mm -hmm. You can be right. like, this guy is better than the rest of them. You can almost tell 75% of the time right off the front relax. Well, I, agree, I agree 100%. Yeah. Most shows you could tell by that opening front yeah. relaxed who's going to be. I mean, be your sometimes top five. you can tell literally when they're just fucking walking out. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. 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 I think Especially that's at a regional. one of the, um, in a regional for sure. Yeah. I, th I think that's one of the gifts that Samson has because his X frame is so good yeah. that you're immediately drawn to him. And now you're like, okay, everybody's playing catch up. They do catch up. They can catch up, but I feel like that front relaxed is his best pose. In my yeah. opinion, he's out of that top four or five. That's in my opinion that took the best. It's just because relaxed. it's just because his legs pop so up, ever, like his hip. The sweep is so wide. The waist is so small. It's now it's, now he's built up his shoulders. It's like kind of like the front relaxed. In my opinion, it's like him and Derek. Maybe yeah, it, maybe yeah. Hottie. Yeah. Derek Hottie's Derek's got, got like a good, crazy like, abs. Was down to crazy abs, yeah. 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 Derek's got a crazy X from the front. But yeah. Samson just flows different. It's just I think a little because, bit different for me. I, I, think, I think yeah. yeah, I was gonna say I think Derek, if he's brought up his legs, then his X frame in the front relax will match Samson's. Yeah. But it's all gonna come down to how full his legs look. Yeah. yeah. And then Hottie has a great X frame as well. It's just that I feel like his waist looks great because he crunches down on the abs, but his waist is not as small as the others, so mm -hmm. he might lose ground there. It depends. Mm -hmm. how, that, how that's it looks. that's where him and Nick would playing playing a little bit of catch up, probably. Yeah, it's weird. Him and Nick both have that same strength where they have such blocky, etched in abs that yeah. they even even though their waists aren't tiny, they can still make them look really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I don't think, but that, I but I don't think a, that's. I think it's a symptom of guys that have larger waist train the shit out of their abs to like have it be like a strength in a sense sure, you know? yeah but I, but I don't think that's where Nick loses ground in the front relax I think it's more that the sweep on his legs starts lower yeah. so it, it the legs is actually more what hurts Nick than the yeah. waist yeah, yeah. whereas Hottie, the way they Hottie's, Hottie's got a good sweep but a little bit wider waist so I think yeah. that that's tough for those two yeah it's it, it, the interesting matchup again is going to be Nick and Hottie yeah I know I think I they compare the best, like out of the top four, they compare really well together. Those they two. have the most similar physique in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, they're just and, really, and really, really Samson. dense. Yeah, and Derek, Derek and Samson, Samson somewhat, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can see that comparison. Those two, and I think Brandon fits more into the mix with Andrew. Derek and Derek and. Well, I was going to say more with Derek and Samson. Well, you could throw Andrew in that mix too, but but maybe he's just not at that group yet. So you think yet. if you were, you think if you were grouping twos. Like, let's say they, I said this to Milos on the last podcast. I said, it'd be cool if they started doing like mini comparisons. Yeah, they used so, to. So imagine mm -hmm. they did, imagine they did like a, 
Nick and Hottie, Derek and Samson. So you think Brandon and Brandon and uh, Andrew would be a good comparison? That's all I think of in my head. Yeah, because I, I see, see more. I see more of a Crizzo Andrew. Yeah. I wish they could still do that. I, the only reason you can't now is because back then there was like one class in the show and it was just bodybuilding. Now you have second yeah. similar class. If you start doing two man comparisons, your show is seven days You'll long. Be there all that's day. What I, yeah. That's what I said to Milos. I said, Milos, I'm with you, man. But like the show's already four hours long, five hours right. long. Like, yeah. right. See what I see more of the Crizzo Hunter comparison right now. I think it's just the 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 height and athletic look. I think the- Crizzo, Andrew, Hunter are that group there. Yeah. See, okay. I feel like I feel like Hunter. And I'm not saying he's of this caliber, which he might be, but I feel like Hunter belongs more in the same call out as like a fucking Nick Hottie or even a Nick Hottie Brandon. And maybe not Brandon, but Nick and Hottie because he's still compact, dense, and very muscular. I could see I could see Hunter and Brandon comparing. I don't yeah. I, yeah. I, I feel like Nick and Nick and uh, not Nick, sorry. I feel like Crizzo and Andrew both have more of a like a statuesque physique because they're bigger guys too yeah they're, they're taller, taller guys yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so i feel like those two would be really cool to see together yeah. anyway okay let's move on we'll do some questions uh when did we start today eight o'clock yeah a little, a little after eight yep okay let's do some questions it's gonna be a fucking good weekend i wonder, so if, fucking, I wonder if i gotta i have fucking samson's gonna win the, if samson wins the olympia it's gonna be insane i'm not saying he's Nobody freak out. People freak out in the comment section. I'm not saying he's going to win. I think he's going to win. But I'm just saying if he wins, it's going to be fucking insane. Yeah. Are we wearing suits to finals? I'm wearing a Samson shirt and a suit. I'm wearing a suit. I'm wearing a sport coat with a Samson shirt. I tried my suit on today. It still fits. Yeah. What? Wait, a suit from when you were jacked or a suit from when you were little? It's from 2018, 17. Oh, so, so when you were smaller. But no, you're still jacked then. No, it was 2017. I was big then. Yeah. So you're saying you're saying it still fits like it doesn't fit the, too the big. The jacket's like the jacket's a little bigger than it was, but it still looks good. Okay. The shirt and the pants fit perfect. Why are, are we all sitting together? Ian's gonna sit in the gold seats. That's I'm, gonna sneak up there. I'm sneaking up there. I'm sneaking up there yeah. too. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> I got a gold yeah. ticket. We're I'm like four, the fourth enemy. row back, just left of center. Uh why are you wearing a suit? Because it's the finals. It's fun to do, you know? When else do I get to wear a suit in my life? Yeah, I'm going to do a sport coat, I think. I don't want to wear a suit. I feel uncomfortable in a suit. I think a jacket. Then I, might just wear, I might just wear the dress shirt and the pants, you know? Yeah. No, I'd rather do the opposite. I'd wear, rather wear the jacket with a t-shirt. Yeah, but my, my, my jacket is the part of the suit that fits me the least nice. Yeah. Maybe I'll just get like some suspenders, you know? Yeah, oh, that'd like be a good, that's a good look. Get a satin yeah. vest. Did you hear vest. Paul? I, like, I love vest. vest. Did you hear Paul? I love I love vests and I love us. Paul, you got a little bit. You look like a strip club bouncer. Yeah, yeah. All <laughs> yeah. oh, that that. Oh, I like that. It was a little like erotic. <laughs> no, I just like. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna do susp- suspenders. He's like, hey, Brandon, if you catch this, rewind that. He's like, oh, I like. Oh, I like that look. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that was as non gay as I could say. I think. I, you, that I think. I don't know who could pull that off though. I almost feel like you have to be like lanky. For what? For suspenders? To just to just the suspenders with a dress shirt. Oh, yeah, I you're, gonna, you're gonna be jacked uh, to pull that off. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, are Hold you talking it. about are you rolling like there's up? There's distance. Roll them up a little distance. bit. Yeah. Are you rolling up the, are you ro- yeah. There's a gap between your chest and the suspender, like you're projected. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or you're you trapped to your those pec or Yeah, unless you're, <laughs> unless you're me, and then my pec matches my stomach, and then it's, just... <laughs> then it's on his stomach, but not on his pecs. No, it's not. <laughs> no. My it's pecs billowing. are still. No, my... <laughs> my pecs are still ahead of my waist. Fuck you, Ian. Um, but if you do the if you do the dress shirt with the suspenders, you got to roll up your sleeves a little bit. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, how can you prevent stretch marks? Embrace yeah. them, bro. Fuck it. I, I like stretch marks, man. It's part yeah. of the fuck part they, of the growth. They fade over time. Like I had stretch marks when I was young, and I don't really have any anymore. Like I don't. They kind of just go disappear. away. Yeah, they fade. Yeah. Have you guys I ever hired? Really bad. Have you guys ever hired an escort? No. 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 Never. Never. You. <laughs> I said never. I said never. I said never. Okay. I, said, I said never. I thought you were choosing to stay. Yeah, no, just, just message that back to the person that put that sent it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this question: If a if a soccer team of fat people played a soccer team of midgets, who would win? Midgets. 
No. Probably the midgets. They're no. quicker. No, but they can't kick for shit. That's how people are going to gas out. But they're not necessarily quicker. Is they're it first... real soccer or like mini soccer? Like no, real, real soccer. Real, real soccer. Like yeah, the midgets field? are winning. The midgets are winning. Oh, uh, yeah. The, uh, kicking power, the, kicking power, the kicking power would be tough, though. I'm gonna yeah. s- I'll send you guys a link. They've actually, they've I actually. I feel like done... the fat, the fat goalie would be able to stop all those shots because yeah. it'd be going so slow. You know. Think about how hard uh, is the how hard is the midget going to kick? That's right. right. Yeah, but they get, the, get the goalie going the wrong right. direction, and they. You know, <laughs> no, once yeah. his weight's going one way, he's going. Plus a, a midget goalie. Well, how yeah. how? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Put that ball past him every time. Here? Are we talking like four fifty? Put that more? ball across him every time. <laughs> We're talking like 325, you know? More, morbidly obese. Well, that's, I'm morbidly obese. So, like, what is, you know? But fat, not muscle. So, like, three, like my 300. Six or, my 600 pound life fat. No, no, not that like fat. Like, like, they like got to be mobile. Like, three, 400 pounds. They got to be mobile. Yeah. I'm, fat I'm, fat. I'm taking the fat. I feel like they run they're going to gas so fast. After five minutes, they're fucked. I'm going with the midgets. Yeah, yeah. So For sure, the midgets. they would so be. The, but so are the midgets. So, think how many steps they got to take to do the whole field. They got to uh, work twice as hard. I'm going to send you guys a link later. So they actually did this. And the fat people won. The Who fat did people did. Huh? By how much? That. There's a video of it. Really? Was it close? Oh, Who oh, organized so, that game? You're so skeptical. You're like, nah, you're lying. No, no, no. I'm just like, <laughs> Who organized that game? Jeez. I got, I got to find, let's see if I can find it for you real quick. Was it close? Uh, I didn't watch the whole game. I just know the winner. Uh, fat people. Just uh, like, like in America? Like in the US? Soccer. It yeah, seems like something you would do in like Japan. Russia, or Russia, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. Little people versus obese guys. <clears throat> Jeez, this is so wrong. Hey, I didn't make it. One second, that's know. a mini. That's a mini field. Let me oh, just... I mean, these yeah, fat that's people, a small field. These fat people look like they're fat, like athletic people. Just wait a minute. These are like NFL linemen, fat people. You know, obese people. <laughs> And like this is just hilarious. oh these people aren't even bad. It, Look how fat like these guys are. Instagram. No, they're, they could they could still give her this, this guy there. That don't get no athlete to me. The guy in the middle there. No, these guys are they <laughs> cool for sure. <laughs> He's a dwarf. This is what I'm thinking. Like bro, it's a small just, field. You just shoot it high, bro. Like they can't save it. Oh, oh yeah, kick it over his head every time. <laughs> okay, dwarf boy. Just go to the end and see what the score is. Just one second. I want to watch them play for a minute. I feel like there's way more midgets than there are fat people. Loud, bro. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> how many midgets there are? <laughs> They're allowed an extra couple people on the field. <laughs> look at him. He's just running oh, right over him. Barreling through them all. Yeah, look at these guys. Oh, look at these are athletes, bro. Oh, he saved it. Save. Oh. Wow. That's how excited the announcer is. Yeah. Well, that's a good footwork for a big guy. Look at that. Yeah. Wow, this guy's an athlete. Oh, goal. Oh, my shit. Who is this guy, though? Like, yeah. What the hell? He's like a yeah, pro soccer player. Let him himself go. Back. Yeah, let himself go the last since COVID. Everything is possible, bro. Because he doesn't pass the food. <laughs> He's got pizzas on his fucking jersey. That's amazing. Uh, they're not as they're not as as we should make jerseys and and pizzas on. I expected. <laughs> okay, I just had to clear that. I had to ask you guys that. Uh, oh, there was another question I wanted to ask you guys. No. Okay. Um, on ask a, it. A fat question. Okay, I'll ask it. So, yeah. would you stay with your wife or girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. No, don't ask this. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget I said anything. Yeah. <laughs> so if if you found out your wife blew another guy, would you stay with her? While nope. she was with you? Yeah, you're married or you're together, your girlfriend, whatever. No. No. Okay. If you nope. found out your wife was spooning with that other guy and watching a movie, would you stay with her? Nope. No. Nope. Oh. Really? That's almost worse. Yeah. Why are you surprised? Well, who by are you that? spooning with? You're doing someone's <laughs> Yeah, why I don't you know. sp- like, that's like that's like emotional. That's weird. Okay, dude. what's yeah? What's, what's worse? They're equally what's like worse? The blowing is probably worse, but the cuddling's still way worse than it sounds. The blowing's sluttier. Wait, 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 wait a second. One at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck her. <laughs> Kill her. We're all actor. <laughs> they, they, they haven't done anything. I'm just asking. So, all right, all right. Is it worse if? Is it worse to you if your wife 
blows a guy. Never, she just met him, like just met him, went to his house, blew him and left. So where'd they meet? What? At a bar or something? They were drunk or what? Yeah, something like that. Or she's known him for a bit. They've never kissed, never done anything physical, but you caught them cuddling on the couch watching a movie. Oh, those they're are both, they're both dead. Yeah. They're both <laughs> yeah. They're, they're even but what's they're worse? Even, they're even the cuddling. Oh, I don't care. What's gotta the cuddling be on the couch is obviously leading to something more. Yeah. Like there's like a relationship no, no, building no, no, going no. on there. No, you already know nothing physical has happened. No, but like emotionally, yes. emotionally, but they're know? building something. Okay, so which one's worse? You have to pick what you have to. Well, pick like one. I said, the blowjob's sluttier, but they're both just as bad. Yeah, I'm picking, you have like, to... the cuddling. The cuddling is worse from a relationship standpoint. Yeah. Well, the blowjob's pretty bad too, from a relationship standpoint. <laughs> you guys are nuts. They're, they're, well, they're both. Both bad, of them. I, both if, I walk, if, I, if I walk in the fucking room and my fucking wife is blowing some dude, I'm gonna kill them both. Like, well, wait, okay, but they're both spooning on the guy. You're not going to go walking in no. on the blowjob. You didn't say walking Whatever. in on the blowjob. You walk in on the blowjob or you walk in oh, on the well, cuddling. That's definitely worse if you're walking in on it. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cuddling, but you didn't okay. say, okay. Okay. You didn't say okay. that for it. Okay. 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 See how you're just influenced by Ian. You're like, <laughs> well, you didn't, you're just like, you didn't like whatever say he that. says, you're like, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's right. It made a difference in my Ian, answer. You're like, Ian, he's up there in the corner. You're like, whatever Ian says. He's down there. We're all right. You're all, we're all right. So, okay. One second. One second. Okay. Fine. Paul, since you said, if you walk in, you're saying the blowjob's worse. If I walk yeah. in on the blowjob, that's worse than walking in yeah, on a spoon. 100%. Okay, now, second question. What if the next day she tells you, last night I blew a guy, or last night I cuddled a guy and watched a movie? Guess who's going to jail for domestic assault? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. She told me. Like, I'm like, oh, which know, one's worse? Honest. You got to pick one. Which one's worse? When you say it like that, the blowing sounds worse for sure. Yeah, the blowing's always worse. There's yeah, never the blowing's been, always worse. It's never well, better. No, I don't. I don't necessarily agree because I think, in terms of like, the destruction of your relationship, I think your wife or your girlfriend cuddling with a guy has more meaning behind it than just some okay. your wife blowing a guy. Okay, okay. time my wife's a whore. Time out. The yeah. the destruction of the relationship is equal. If I if I hear about either one, I'm like it's over. So yeah. I would I would be able to live with myself better. If I was like, yeah, she just cuddled with some dude. Now they're together. I don't give a fuck. Rather than she sucked a guy's cock last night. I'm like, no, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, like, that, that, yeah, sure. yeah, that for sure. Oh. Because then you're like, well, you know, yeah. What, what are you doing? Like, suck, suck, <laughs> <laughs> I'm also <laughs> calm about it. Why? I don't do that. It's hard. <laughs> Sucking a dude, on? like, she's not. There's nothing. There's no pleasure in it for her. That's like literally her just pleasuring a guy. That's just a whore. Oh, yeah. that's not true. <laughs> Well, yeah. if you're getting because because that, you're right, there's no pleasure for her. She that's not true. Dick. That's not true. Well, no, what what does she get out of that? What does she, she, she get out of that? What does she get out of that? You don't think girls like sucking cock? Well, no, no, no. I think sluts well, do. Yeah. You, you <laughs> only sluts? Wait, wait, wait. I have to, no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Paul. <laughs> you just totally fucking. One second. Don't say yeah, anything. Edit that part. Don't say anything. No. Leave that in. Okay. Edit that part. No, no, no. One second. One second. Yeah, sucks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no. Okay, I'm so, so wait a second. So Paul, no, stop covering for him. Okay, so, but, but let me explain. <laughs> so I think. So you think if a girl sucks a dick, she's getting zero pleasure from I, it? Yeah, I think if like does that okay, that so, basically means if no, you, but wait a minute, if let you're eating pussy, it. if you're eating pussy, you get zero pleasure. I like eating pussy. Okay, so you get pleasure. <laughs> Does that mean you're a whore? No. You're a well, slut. I like eating my wife's pussy. <laughs> you gotta edit all this stuff away. You can't leave this stuff in. <laughs> yeah, see, what I was saying, what I'm saying, getting no pleasure, I mean, like, no, like, she's not, it's not where, like, she's, she's gonna not gonna. Have gonna that's that's what I was, that's what I. Yeah, meant. but that's yeah. not the, yeah, like, look, not the I, be I, all I end all pleasure. Like, look, I love eating pussy and I get pleasure out of it. And I understand, right. like, look, would Melissa like suck my dick? Sure. Right, right. I understand that. But I'm yeah, saying, yeah. If, don't tell if, Paul if that. He's going to tell you your no, wife is a But here's the difference I think. Because guys, <laughs> like, we're, we're kind of pigs, right? Like, you know, there's something visual with, you know. But we're whatever. not pigs. We, we, oh, are, I also think, too, I think this is where the important part comes visual. in. Visual. I think it comes in more like you enjoy doing those things more when it's somebody like, it's your wife or your girlfriend when you're just sucking a random dude's dick or when I'm eating a random girl's box. That's not nearly the same. Eh. I I don't think it's nearly the same. No, I don't think so either. I I'm think, not. I'm not. I'm I not eating the, out a girl on a one night stand and like enjoying no, myself. God. Well, plus you're crazy if you do. You don't know where to go. <laughs> like your wife, you know what's clean. It doesn't have to be a one night stand. It could be a good girl you dated for two weeks. 
No, but we're talking about she just met the guy the night before and sucked his dick. Yeah. That doesn't mean she's not going to get any pleasure from it. I'm not saying that she could, could she get mental pleasure, but I'm saying it changes it. If she is feels so connected to that guy that she's like loving sucking his dick, that's pretty bad. Yeah. So Paul, pretty you're bad. saying so Paul, you guys, so Paul, Ian, you're actually saying the same thing. So basically, if a girl meets a guy the first night and she sucks his cock and she loves it, yeah. she's a slut. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're riding the line there. I don't really, you're right. Yeah, I don't you're really riding refer the line. To women in that way. I mean, I think I any girl that sucks a guy's dick on the first day hang out, it's like that's a little edgy, you know. And loved it, like yeah, like that's you know. But I why does that make it different, Paul? I don't <laughs> like understand. You're... Like you have to hate it. Like you want her to hate it? No, 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 no. But like, be I apathetic hear... about it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Apathetic. Well, no, it's our new word of the new yeah, word yeah, of the podcast. Yeah. What was the, what I mean again though? She's she's emo about it. She's like whatever. Everyone's gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> well, because I think most most wives, girlfriends, I don't think they love giving you a blowjob. They do it to keep you happy. No, that's not true. I don't agree with that. But really? I, I think I think Paul's there's like, Paul's well, like, really? <laughs> <laughs> really? You don't say. <laughs> no, I definitely agree in the sentiment that partners Whoa, take really? per, partners <laughs> take pleasure partners take pleasure in pleasuring their partner. 100%. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Except. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> really? I probably said too much. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, you're fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know how the fuck we got there, but oh, I asked that dumb question. It wasn't really a dumb question. You guys really didn't really pick which one you think, but you, I think you both, you all said blowjob, right? Blowjob, blowjob is worse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not Mike? cool with any of it. Well, none of us well, are cool with any of it, but if, if you well, have not to, that I care. I'm not even borderline. Not cool that I right care, now. but I don't really give a fuck. You're not supposed to care, emo. Man. I don't own you. Uh, <laughs> uh, my possession. Uh, a fat question: Have any of you had a big bowl of milk and dumped a box of cookies in it and ate it like cereal? That's actually a great idea. I've never done. that. I don't like soggy cookies. No shame. I have done this multiple times with Oreos. <laughs> I like to wait for the Oreos to get a bit soggy. You don't like soggy. You guys don't like soggy cereal or anything? No. I do sometimes. The crunch of the cereal is the best part. I like both. I like it too. soggy. I like eating yeah. it when it's crunchy, but then I like it when you put enough cereal that the bottom part is soggy. Uh, I don't really. I get the best. That's a how soggy. You know, when I, I was a kid, like you, listen. It depends honestly, on what cereal, too. You guys might think this is yeah. gross. When I was a kid, we were poor. We had we didn't have money for, like, sugary, awesome cereals. So we had, like, big boxes of cornflakes. I would get, like, a salad bowl. And I would fill it with cornflakes, and I would fill it with milk, and then put it in the and and I put a bunch of sugar on it, and then put it in the fridge, yeah. and I'd wait for the fucking cornflakes to soak up the most of the milk, and then I would just smash it. <laughs> That's really fat. Soggy yeah, cereal. That's, That's yeah, fat, yeah. man. Yeah, you're a fat kid too. <laughs> I've always loved food. Yes, I've always. Yeah. Loved... <laughs> Whatever you guys, soggy cereal is good. Uh, I prefer it is. crunchy. Mike, Mike, you're crunchy. Cinnamon, guy to- cinnamon toast crunch is good. Like it start, it's good, crispy and soggy. That's what it's I'm saying. Rare cereal. That's cereals. why I said the 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 prefix or the point of like it matters what cereal it is because some so like cereal shreddies like terrible. shreddies or something like that. By the time terrible. you get to the bottom of shreddies, awful, terrible. Yeah, like what is it? Uh, frosted flakes. Like, like frosted flakes. No, not I frosted. Like, or even not, frosted mini wheats. Mini wheats. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Frosted yeah, mini wheats. Yeah, mini wheat cereal. Yeah. But like frosted flakes. Frosted flakes. I don't mind a little soggy. I like. A little, there's an in between. If it gets like yeah. droopy, soggy, then it's gross. Yeah, frosted right. flakes is literally is literally what you used to do with cornflakes. Yeah, it's just sugar and frost yeah. and cornflakes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 delicious. Yeah. Uh, but no, I've done it. Never done it with cookies. You guys never done it with cookies? No, uh, like I'll, I'll eat them separate. I'll yeah. give it a whirl. I feel like that. W- I feel like it would get too soggy and gross, though. Like I prefer cook- to dip cookies like in peanut butter or Nutella or cake icing. So I like fat. dipping cookies in milk. And I'm the like, fat one. And then eating them. <laughs> I got enough sweet tooth. I like d- dipping cookies in milk. Yeah. But no, I wouldn't yeah. but I wouldn't but I wouldn't just put them all in a bowl. Yeah. Oh, no. well, would you like to dip your cookies in a vanilla milkshake? No. I'd no. need more something a little, bit, a little bit thicker that you know that I could because yeah. that would just be like no. What about like a Wendy's froster? No, no. he wants like a dip. Yeah. It's like a Nutella or a peanut butter, yeah. like a spread. icing. Yeah, yeah, a spread. Yeah, I, I think like cake icing. Pretty cake icing. It's pretty cake icing. Pretty really. feminine. It's very feminine, Paul. Actually, I've mentioned this to uh, your wife, yet, and she said that Chris, your brother, your brother-in-law, also likes to do that. Yeah, but Chris likes a lot of really girly shit. So wait a minute, I remember. <laughs> he's, got the best physique, he's got the best physique in the world. I'll take that. 
I remember that. <laughs> I'm a good I'll take that <laughs> Weren't we Chris fucked also, up? Chris also won't eat dairy, so. Hey, uh, me either. I got lactose intolerance. We got a lot yeah. coming. Oh, you don't have a lactose intolerance. <laughs> you got lactose intolerance. Oh, yeah. This guy eats coming. This guy eats like a two liter of ice cream, and he's got a lactose intolerance. No, you just ate <laughs> two liters of ice cream. <laughs> if I drink milk, food, I'd, no, I'd you don't. <laughs> Gym milk. I remember when Melissa told you that you were so elated. You're like, oh, Chris does, Chris does it too. Like, we would probably get along really good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give me his number. I would text him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was each of your stage weights at your first show? Duos. 192. 225. 220, 225. 207, you said? Yeah. Not your first pro show. No, my first bodybuilding show ever. I was 207. That little yeah, fucking... You were... Oh, that was your amateur picture you put up today. Yeah, and I was 207 in that shot. That yeah, you were super heavy. Weren't you a super heavy in a provincials? Uh, yeah, it was a super heavy at provincials, yeah. but that was 2014. That wasn't my first show, but my first yeah, show, I, I know. I only did one show really ever where I was under 220, and that was like my first show ever, basically. Paul, what was your first show? 176. 176. But you're appealed. Just, just getting rabbit. If you, if you if you were like everybody else, you would have been 205. If I was in uh, most people's condition, I'd probably have been about 230. <laughs> I try to help you out. Why you got to ruin it? Exactly. Yeah, well. <laughs> now you went too unbelievable. You can't yeah. go that far. Yeah. Uh, what are your feelings on carb manipulation? I think it's great. What do you guys think? I mean, like what, what, what does that even mean? I, think I would never mean, manipulate I, my carbs. I love them. Like carb cycling? <laughs> like carb cycling? I'm assuming he means yeah. in, a, in a diet like, I'm assuming carb cycling. Con- yeah, context. I mean, there's, there's a million ways to skin a cat. They all work. Uh, biggest insecurity. Um, mm. I've got many. <laughs> Current, currently, uh, I've got many. <laughs> I think I would say currently it's business. I have like a, and that's a really broad thing, but like I'm, I have an insecurity about business because I'm still at, at the, sure. at the growth phase of it, so I'm still trying to learn it. I yeah. thought we were talking about like physical stuff. No, so that she said insecurities could be anything. Maybe oh. your dick's too small. Maybe you're fucking. No, no, no. I, I got no problem there. It's my nose. No. It's <laughs> 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 this big ass nose. Is that your insecurity? Your nose? Yeah. I wish I could get it. Do well, I really don't care, care anymore. Wait a minute, though. Do you really care? You're 51 and you. I used two, to care more. Two kids and you're married. I wish it was smaller for sure. Not that you don't. Not... You look so stupid with a small nose. You would not small, just small. a little bit smaller. Like, I don't like this big ball in the end. If I could get that shape down a little bit more. Hmm. A sign of wisdom, man. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm Are not that know? big. That doesn't bother me anymore, but I used to. I don't know. I'd have to think about that a little more. Okay. What's yours now, then, if it's not your nose? Hmm? What's yours now, though, if it's not, not your nose? It's still my nose. It's just not as bad. You just said, oh, so that's still your biggest insecurity out of everything in your Phys- life. Physical? No, it doesn't have to be physical. It can be anything. Uh, yeah, I probably say Is that, probably you, don't have, you don't have chest hair like mine? <laughs> Thank, thankful. <laughs> thankful I don't have a rug like that. <laughs> my triceps. Oh, my triceps. My calves. <laughs> I, I, never, I never wear shorts. I never wore shorts my entire bodybuilding career once my calves start to go. Your calves, really? your triceps. Yeah. Mike, do you have anything real? I don't care now, obviously, but... These superficial motherfuckers. My calves. <laughs> Who cares? I don't like my ears. <laughs> <laughs> You're too big. Uh, okay, we'll move on. Um, I'm not telling my deep, dark secrets on here, you know? I know, right? Yeah, people use, people Hold it against it. me, you use fuckers in the comments. So yeah. I'll make a clip about it. Uh, what's one thing your dog could say that would completely ruin your image if they could talk? You're a faggot. No, You're such I, a think loser. He, I think he means like, what would he tell people? Well, imagine if your dog just piped up one day and you've like been cuddling, loving them your whole life. They just look at you and you're like, You're a fucking faggot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, I see what you do all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. I yeah. fucking see you. <laughs> All right, all right. If you could bring a, any movie to real life and live it as the main character, which movie would you pick? Oh. Ooh. Troy. No, he yeah, dies. Yeah, but he, di- he dies at the yeah, end. Dies at the I end. was literally about to say Troy until then I realized he died. Yeah, that's what I just, I just realized that too. Yeah. Um, uh, fuck. 
I'm, I'd be down to be like Captain America or something. Yeah, I was going to pick a superhero. All my favorite movies, the main character dies. Well, yeah, because that's makes some good movies, you know? I was going to yeah. say Wolf of Wall Street, and then I'm like, that guy goes to jail. Yeah, but he, he's doing all yeah, right. Well, just think about the highlights of the movie. Like, I'd want to be Johnny Depp and Blow for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd want to be, I'd want to be Leonardo DiCaprio and Wolf of Wall Street before yeah, he goes, be before he goes to jail. Yeah, but then that guy now is like out doing fucking TV and press I know. conferences. I know. <laughs> um, Ian, anybody? Mike? Oh, Mike already said. Paul? I'm trying to think of a good movie like that. I'd probably pick like a superhero movie or something. Like Equalizer? Like you'd be Denzel Washington? Or I haven't seen mean, the third one yet. You mean like I, yeah. You haven't seen the third one yet. Ian, did Not you yet. see it yet? Yeah, it was amazing. Right? You got to watch it, Paul. Yeah, I watched the first clip, the opening scene of it, but I haven't seen the rest yet. Why'd you stop it? Um, I didn't have time I think to watch it that day, so I just watched the first scene. And then why did you put it on then? <laughs> they were talking a lot. With this, they were later. talking a lot with this opening <laughs> scene, so I wanted to watch it. Wait, I okay. I just I love you, man. So that's crazy. That's who was crazy. who was talking about the opening scene? I saw like a clip talking about the opening scene. Who was like somebody <laughs> was saying how good it was? Yeah. So you're like, I want to watch the opening scene. Yeah. So you just put on the movie, you watch the opening scene, and then you. Left this this video, whatever came with the opening scene attached to it, so I watched it. Oh, I see what you mean. So yeah, like no, a, I didn't like. I didn't like get. I thought you bought movie. it and watched like the first. No, 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 no. I wouldn't do that. Okay, but the opening scene's not that. It's not that great. It's good, and nothing it's happens. Good. What happens in the opening scene? Nothing. Yeah, I can't remember that. He gets shot. Yeah. No, it's all you see all the bodies, and then he yeah, yeah, yeah. shows yeah. up, and he's waiting yeah. for him in the basement. Yeah, yeah, but nothing. Yeah, like, yeah. He kills a bunch of guys, and then they shoot him. Too. him up, and then yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's not like the movie gets a whole lot better than that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Watch the movie. Yeah, I like the first two. Yeah, it's I watched I, uh, that movie that I told you to watch, uh, Old Dads. With oh, Bill Burr. great! That's that hilarious. Was great. Yeah, I, awesome I got I got ten minutes in, and shut it off last night. Really right. bad, man. It fucking really drove me like insane. woke, woke, fucking not woke shit ever. Yeah, seen that kind of but it was like, like what do you mean? Bill, 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 Bill Burr was like literally he annoyed the. Fuck out of me. What do you mean? Well, it's totally, yeah, but it's like totally... it's like him being against wokeness, but showing wokeness. Yeah. It's like it's yeah, fucking but, weird. But thing it was he's got going on. But it was anti woke. Yeah. yeah but, but like but by but the end, it was so in your face about it. It was so annoying. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. get through it. That but I liked. Great. But it was like it was kind of like you know these guys nowadays trying to you know figure out this woke shit, and they're like you know just kind of like a different world. I'm shocked. Like when I, when I saw the one guy in the office, like at the beginning, and he's like to the black girl, he's like. You listen to little fucking whatever's album into this. I'm like, this is fuck this shit. Yeah, but they were making fun of him. Yeah, yeah, but it was yeah. like he was just so annoying. It annoyed me, you know. Yeah, oh, I liked it. I liked his his buddy was awesome. I thought it was great. His, yeah, I like, I got it was, cocaine. <laughs> I it was lighthearted. It wasn't. I didn't take it as seriously as you guys. I thought it was fucking hilarious. Yeah, that's uh, why I took it. Like, it's it's just, have I you took seen Bill Burr? Have you ever seen Bill Burr live? <laughs> Uh, yeah, not, I haven't seen him live, but I watched him on TV. He's yeah. amazing live, yeah. Yeah. live, better, not like... that, yeah. But I feel like that's oh. what it was. It was just his his comedy in a movie. Yeah, but it didn't work in the movie. No, it didn't work. Yeah. It's so much different live. Like he goes in live. Like he doesn't tiptoe around shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, he really doesn't. Good. No, at all. I, I like. I thought his buddy carried the movie. I thought he was he was the best character in it. Yeah. I thought it was good. I thought it was good. It was just entertaining. It wasn't like an awesome movie. Just entertaining. Get uh, Gotti's good. Have you guys watched Get Gotti? No, oh, I started it last night. There. I started yeah. it last night. I watched the first three yeah. episodes. It's pretty There's good. only three, isn't there? Yeah. Is there only three episodes? I mean, I'm halfway through the third episode. Is that the last oh. one? Oh, I think so. For the for right now, I think you're making more. Mike, is it just only three out right now? There's three or four. I don't know what it is, but it's like I'm, I'm it, halfway. It through culminates the third. at the end. They're not going to make more unless they talk oh. with the sun or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I I thought I'd seen that it was going to continue. I don't think so. Okay, so He's dead so. <laughs> but it ends with it ends with him uh, in prison. Don't tell yeah, us I, how well, it ends, please. No, but you know, John got you know. <laughs> I know, I know. But just Paul does this all the time with movies. Just, <laughs> just let me watch it. All right. <laughs> I've waited days for him to watch old dad, so I could talk to him about it. Uh, so who'd you guys pick? I don't fucking what? know. Movies, characters. You picked oh. a superhero. You picked yeah. a superhero. I mean, I wouldn't one. mind. Ugh, fuck, I don't know. It's too hard to think of these things on the spot. Who would I? Uh... Just think of your fucking favorite movie and be like that guy. Yeah, but they all fucking die. I like I the know. movie Hancock. The Hancock. I was about to say that. That's a good movie. Okay. 
Uh, might be a stupid question, but when a bodybuilder says a cup of rice, is it cooked cup or a raw cup? No, it's not a raw cup. Not cooked. Oh, that would be like four. Kind of rice, man. <laughs> be like four cups cooked. Uh, my boss tore his quad. Is BPC one five seven and TB five hundred the move? Yes. So, do you have any dosing recommendations online? Gives a wide range. I don't think we should give dosing, but yes, those are two good peptides. Uh, why do they? Why did do you think they still push testosterone boosters for sale when they're literally BS? Uh, cause I don't think they're total BS. Do you guys want to explain? There's actually some that work, don't they? Like to a certain well, point, I mean, they're not going to do what well, testosterone does, but I know there's studies on boron or whatever that, that, that yeah, have been like... for, for freeing up natural testosterone. Yeah. yeah what's that one? Uh, I think there's there's one that's pretty popular that apparently gives some good when, results. When people say they're bullshit, it depends what you're expecting to get from it. Yes. Yeah. If you're expecting you to feel like the fucking cycle you were just on, then yes, it's bullshit. If that's what, but that's also your. But false, if you're, if, false, if, if that's you're your false expectation it, it, to increase your numbers on a blood test by a very small degree or something make you feel a little better then that's definitely realistic yeah or mm -hmm. if you've never used testosterone if you've never used steroids or anything like that and maybe you just have like lower like lower testosterone and like a low normal range that that's it can help you yeah. feel a little better yeah mm -hmm. so it's not bullshit it's just not if the company you're buying it from is advertising it as if it's a fucking steroid cycle then yeah that's bullshit it's not going to feel like that uh true or false if you're able if you're able you should walk up or down a moving escalator fuck that that's like spitting in the face of the engineer designed that <laughs> <laughs> let's take you the stairs up. stand and you let that thing take you up yeah, the down. entire point is to be moved yeah but although but unless i'm in a really big rush i'm never walking on an escalator go ahead paul those walking things at the airport that make you walk faster i was gonna faster. say that i was yeah. gonna say that yeah i walk yeah. on those. yeah but that's that's yeah different. i walk on those yeah but escalator, I'm not walking up the stairs. No, I, I, took I, walk, I walk on those because I'm the. It's the fastest I've ever moved. In walking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> should have those things everywhere. Uh, I think we did this before, but I'm going to ask again. What race or ethnicity would you like to be for a week? I want to be black. You want to be? Why did you whisper it? I didn't mean to. <laughs> why did you whisper that? I, would I didn't mean to whisper it. Yeah, but... you. I, I want to be black. I want to be black. <laughs> Well, in case someone else wanted to and you said first. it really and you said it really fast in case like nobody heard you. <laughs> you know my reason, I'm down I think that's what you answered it last time too. <laughs> you know my you know my reasons. Oh, no, I don't I don't know your reasons. Want to dunk and I want to rap. <laughs> you want to dunk, dunk and you want to rap. <laughs> yeah. So like if you if you had a list of like things that you wanted to do in your life, it would be in order dunk and rap. No, but the two things I'd like to wish I could do though. Like, where are they in your top 10 of things you'd like to do in your life? Like, if I could pick my own talents in life? If you could pick anything that you can do that you can't do currently in a top 10, where would dunking and rapping yeah, but, land? Yeah, but changing ethnicity doesn't necessarily guarantee you can do that. I know that. That's why I'm just like... <laughs> well, I'm not going to do it while I'm white. Why not? Eminem, <laughs> Eminem's white. Because I am white. I can't do either one. But how's black make be you being black going to make it happen all of a sudden? What if you're just Paul, but now you're black? Yeah. <laughs> how's that going to change anything? I'd have a better chance of... Why? Why? <laughs> you're, this is incredible. We all got, we all got, uh... we all got strengths and weaknesses. Well, then, then this, just, this just eliminates the question if we're going to look at it that way, because then we're just going to be ourselves in black and pointless, you know? <sighs> okay. So you yeah. think... So wait a second. So Paul's... You're, you're implying that if you're black, it increases the chances that you're going to be able to dunk and rap. Be athletic. And be, and be athletic. Yeah. Okay. So where does that land on your priority list of talents you'd like to have? Physical talents? <clears throat> Just talents, period. Um, so specific, okay? You know. more of like, they're not needs or wants. Talents? They're not needs, they're wants. Okay, but where does that land? If you have 10 things, people says, you know what? If I say to you, you're granted 10 things you can do tomorrow, but you have to list them in order. Where does rapping and dunking land on that list? Somewhere between four and 10, probably. Can you be more specific? Like six, seven? Four and five? No, a little bit higher than that. Dunking would probably be like third, third or fourth. <laughs> I want to know what you would use dunking for. Are you going to go like... I would love to slam. I would love to I know, but like, let's say you could dunk tomorrow. What are you going to do with it? I'd dunk crazy. I'll dunk like crazy everywhere I go. Just, <laughs> anywhere I support, I would dunk. <laughs> Throw down some fucking like, major tomahawks. I would kill it. <laughs> Like so a you windmill go... Vince, Vince, Vince Carter in the rim? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you would just go to like the community center and just start dunking? Yeah. 
Okay, what about rapping? Where would you do that? Would you call a crowd? I would mostly there, do like that. Call your friends to meet you there? No, yeah. but a crowd would probably gather because they would see my dance. <laughs> <laughs> Dunking uh, at noon at the YMCA. Yeah, Come yeah. by. <laughs> rapping, you would just do at home. I mostly do that at home. On a soundcloud. You, you could rap while you dunk, though. You could still. Could. Yeah, I could. You could still rap at home. You don't have to be black or be good. If you're only going to rap at home, you can still rap at home. I just wish it came easier for me. Like when I try to learn to rap, I can't get it. So you've I'm tried. Great. I'm tone deaf. So you have tried. <laughs> I I do have one. I I've I've not, I can rap one Kanye song. Okay. Which I've one? Seen, I've seen him. I've seen him do it. Yeah. yeah. Which it's, one? It's, it's, good. it's a long it's rap good. too. It's good. It took me a while to learn that one. <laughs> it's not hard to learn. <laughs> what song is it? Uh, it's the beginning of Diamonds. Uh, He's got this like couple minute the, the remix with the remix remix with Rihanna. Yeah. Uh, I picture myself um, on stage with Rihanna doing that <laughs> duet. <laughs> 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 You're you're getting way too comfortable on this podcast. Dude. <laughs> I, I said way too much tonight. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll do one or two more, and we'll go. Um, well, we didn't do the rest. But what are you? What ethnicity are you going to be in? Well, I'm obviously going to be fucking Jamaican, so I can run fast as shit. <laughs> oh, well, let's let's talk about Ian's pick now. Well. So you assume that all Jamaicans are fast? Seems seems perfectly logical. <laughs> yeah. Makes, sense. <laughs> Makes sense. I don't know why we're arguing, but yeah. Okay. Well, I guess it's just me. <laughs> Doesn't want to do something got outlandish like dunk all the time. <laughs> he's gonna run. He's just gonna. Of, he's gonna sprint everywhere he goes. Yeah. On my scale of well, one to ten, I, it's my, one. Okay, but wait a minute. My reasoning is, and this is probably so fucking racist, but I think more black people are fast than they are good rappers. It's more believable. And there's also a million white guys that can dunk too. Yeah. That's I don't crazy. think there's a lot of white guys that can run fast, but everyone at the Olympics, like top 10, is all black. Yeah. There's not too many white rappers. Well, MGK. now there's a lot more. There's a lot more now. MGK, Eminem. Yeah, they are. Eminem is the only good one, really. That's not true. Who else is a good there's white a rapper? Guy, what's his name? Um, there's a new guy. Jelly Soul, bro. No, no, no. There is for sure, Paul. I just can't remember his name right now. Uh, what the fuck is? I listen to him all the time. It's not coming. It's like on the tip of my tongue. Logic. No. Oh, uh, he's part black. NF. That's it. Oh, I've heard of NF. <laughs> Doesn't mean he's not good. <laughs> <laughs> NF. The small time rapper. That's not a small time. Rapper. <laughs> <laughs> But still, my point being, there's very few. There's less. I yeah. want to be like I want to be like one of those like massive Scandinavian dudes. It's just like strong as fuck. Yeah, like like, an, like, a, like an Icelandic Viking. motherfucker. Yeah, like fucking. Yeah. I'm like unbreakable. Yeah, just picking <laughs> shit up and fucking. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't like, care about that running Hathor, and fucking Hathor shit. Bjornsson kind of fuck yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, like fucking seven feet tall, like Brian Shaw shit. Yeah. You know? Just not be able to get on a plane ever. Yeah. I know what you're going to be for. Hmm. <laughs> How did you know that? Jiu-Jitsu. It wasn't necessarily for that. I was also thinking Formula One drivers. Yeah. Oh, well, a, lot of them, yeah. a lot of them are South American. Yeah. You're right. Surprising. Uh, okay. Last question. Thoughts? Nope. Actually, that's interesting. Thoughts on Callum Van Moger. Could he have been up there with Chris in Classic Division if he didn't go through all the turmoil? No, not even close. I don't right. think he would. I don't think he would be Classic. I mean, even even if he was, he wouldn't be a top ten Olympian ever. It's just not his shape is just not like that. There's yeah. no. I feel like his shape is more bodybuilderish. If he actually would have like kept filling it out. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But yeah. Uh, can Ian do a series where he eats raw meats like Liver King? Sure. Is Fuad going to owe Ian a full body wax <laughs> once Ian has a kid? What? What? Huh? What the st fuck? Stick to we your just bet. Made, made a bet for you. Stick yeah. to your bet, man. I don't know what the fuck you're talking Was about. Was there a bet we made about this? We must have forgot something. About a body Maybe, wax? Yeah. Is figure skating a sport? Why isn't it? Why? If figure skating is a sport, why isn't bodybuilding? Both are judged on how good they look. Because, uh, no, because figure skating has exact criteria. Movement. 
ex exact moves and criteria that they're judging upon. Like you have to do certain jumps that are worth certain points and like so certain bodybuilding. No. Well, I have to do certain moves and there, those moves are judged. Yeah. But everyone's doing the same moves. So it's like, it's not the same. Like you can make your routine and you can make your routine to different levels of difficulty and have different moves of difficulty based off your skill level. And then it's judged off like a difficulty score and an artistic score. So it's, there's yeah, more, but I, but I think what he means is, is subjective regardless. Well, it's not as subjective as you think. Why? Because if you're doing a high level move, like a quadruple fucking Lutz or Axel or something, which a yeah. lot of people can't also do in the competition, right. and you're landing it well, which is not open to interpretation. A good landing is a right. good landing. Right. It's right. worth right. so many points, you know? Right. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you that. The artist, the, the, the difficulty score, which is a lot of the score, not subjective. The artistic component of the score would be maybe a little subjective. more open to interpretation, but there's two portions of that for that. Yeah. Okay. Wow, this guy asked like 40 questions. Let me just get through all these. Uh, okay, where does Mike keep his toothbrush? In the bathroom. No, I think he means like, is it near the toilet? Because there's a lot of fecal matter. It's that in the toilet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in the back of the toilet, in that water. Yeah, I, yeah, I, fish, the I fish it out when I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Where the fuck are you supposed to keep your goddamn toothbrush? Well, what the fuck's going on here? I keep, my, <laughs> I keep mine in the shower a lot. Yeah, that's understandable, but it's still in the bathroom. That's yeah, weird. of course. Yeah. Why you brush weird? your you brush your teeth in the shower? Yep. I know a lot of people that do that. Yeah, I like I, I like I like long showers. I will do everything in there. If I have to shave, shave my head, brush my I teeth. Need, I need I need mirrors to do all this stuff. Yeah, I got mirror I got mirror in my shower. Oh, it's Doesn't it get all foggy? No, I got an anti fog one. Oh. <laughs> Do we do dark chocolate in there too? <laughs> I uh yeah, and I wash I douche with my, my yeah. butthole. Oh. Yeah. I whittle whittle figures out of soap while I'm in there. <laughs> little figurines. <laughs> little innuendo uh, little structures. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Ian? I'm a big fan uh of your personality and your bodybuilding. Cool. I'm excited to see your transition from male to female. Nice. <laughs> It would be so dressed so nice. dope. It would be so dope if you dressed up as a woman and made a YouTube video for Halloween. Well, Halloween's tomorrow, so that's not happening. I'm just, I'm just joking. I'll read the real question. I'll be completely uh, honest. I have dressed up as a female twice for Halloween in my I'm just year. joking. Let me read. I'm excited to see your transition back to track. It would be so dope if you dressed up as the Flash and made a YouTube video for Halloween. Maybe do a track workout. This really sounds not cool, but okay. Dressed up one as more. a yeah, one more. Uh, so dress up as a Flash and do a workout. He just wants to see me in fucking a unitard. Yeah, a, a yeah, is, that, is that your underwear uh, lover? <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. what he wants. He wants to see my bulge. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Paul versus Tom Cruise in jujitsu. Fuck. <laughs> I would fuck that motherfucker. Like, uh, I, I would. He would, I would, Tom Cruise he, is fucking you up so bad, Paul. Come on. I would take that bet any day of the weekend. I've seen I you would do, smother do, 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 do. him. I don't. I don't think you could take Tom Cruise. Smother him. That little guy. I would. He would have no prayer. There's no chance. He would gas you out. You'd be gassed out. He would have a chance to. I'd overpower him immediately. Think so? I think he. I think he'd armbar you. <laughs> no. No way. There's alarms. There's no way. There's no way Tom Cruise is tapping me up. You guys watch the? Uh, did you see any of the uh, Fury Nagano this weekend? Dead. I saw some highlights. I watched. I watched a good portion of it. Fucking Gano, Gano won the fight. Yeah, it it like it, eh? yeah. Like he didn't, but he did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I correct me if I'm wrong, and, and I don't know. I keep saying this, and nobody knows, so maybe I'm wrong. I thought Tyson Fury had another fight in six weeks. It does sure. yeah, right? He's fighting Usyk. Right. So there's no fucking. That's, I don't way. think that's happening anymore, though. Is it? Yeah, it is. No, it is. Oh my but god! That, He's but that's paid my... like two two hundred million over these next two fights. But Whoa. that's but that's my whole point. There's no way they're going to let him lose. Yeah. And if they had, it's supposed to be an exhibition that fight, the Nagano fight. Yeah, yeah, but I, I don't think they would have been like, they're not going to let him lose no. against Nagano. It's then... different because you're per you're protecting the the record of like one of the greatest boxers alive right. versus a guy who's doing his first professional fight. It obviously means right. a lot. More. Just like when his brother fought KSI the other weekend, and he, I thought he kind of lost that too. 
Like he's actually trying to have a career in professional boxing. KSI is just like a YouTube boxer to an extent. So it's like, you're going to not ruin an undefeated record of a guy who's actually trying to pursue boxing. You know, I listened to this mob guy one time on, uh, I don't know if it was on Rogan or a different podcast. And he was talking about all the fight fixing they used to do in the eighties oh and nineties. Right? Yeah. And it's like, I think that's why people stop watching boxing for sure. Yeah. Cause I think people are just like, this is fucking bullshit. Like n- yeah. none, this is all fixed. Yeah. It's hard to get that. The best, credibility the best back. fights in boxing are like Javonta Davis. Yeah. Like Terrence Crawford. Yeah. Why do you, why, why, like these, why, why do you say that Mike? There's so much because of the, the quality of like the quality of athlete and like the oh, yeah. fucking, the level, the caliber of boxer is just like another level. Like way more you skill, watch, like, way faster, way more like intricate. Yeah. No, no, I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not uh, disputing it. What I, I don't know anything about boxing, so I'm asking, like, was it just because there were better boxers, or was there less fight fixing in those in their matches? Like, why? Wait, he's, he's just talking about watching the actual fights, just watching much. the fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I feel you like don't, but you I don't feel notice like... as much of like this, like these questionable outcomes when you yeah. see it, like heavyweight yeah. boxing. It's like because everyone knows, like, big guys banging against each other, like one hit can. Yeah, not drop a guy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if yeah. you hit him like off the side of the head, or you know what I mean, like Greek ligram has gone. Yeah. But these like smaller guys, they take like this like a punishment, man. And like yeah. they're fucking slick with shit. Like Javante Davis, <laughs> like you watch some of his knockouts, it's like he's beating guys isn't, in. Like, isn't that the guy uh Bradley Martin said he could beat up? Yeah. No, no he said he could beat up Devin Haney. Devin oh, Haney, okay. and, yeah, he, and he would sure. get killed by Devin Haney. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, last question. Geography question for Paul. What is the capital of the Philippines? Uh, Manila. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Holy shit! Paul's on I his little, team. I know, I know a, little, a little bit about the islands. <laughs> why? Why, Paul? <laughs> I don't know. What about Thailand? Thailand? <laughs> no, never been there, Mike. No plan on going there. <laughs> why not? Why not? It's beautiful. No, no, nothing there interests. Nothing there interests me. You were correct, Paul. It is Manila. <laughs> yes. I'm impressed. Good for you. Is uh, there a okay. president still Duarte? Oh, shut up. Stop, <laughs> Whoa, being, what? stop being a show off. <laughs> <laughs> I dated a Filipino girl like 30 years ago. And he's like, no, I did not. No. I like geopolitics. I told you that before. I know. I know. Here. <laughs> you just couldn't get any of the other Secretary of State like. still. Uh... <laughs> I love geopolitics, but I don't know where Norway is. All right. <laughs> All right. Paul, uh, you just have the prayer. Yep. Okay. Um, well, <clears throat> make it good, leader. Paul. Okay, boy, I'm going to try. Okay, dear leader. Um, well, we should address, I guess, our costumes tonight. So uh, let's hope uh, emo Mike figures out the meaning of life. Stuff starts feeling a bit better about himself. <laughs> uh, Mike Ian, love the costume there. Hope, uh, oh, and, and I'm happy to hear that Ian had a successful test judge and now a uh, fellow. Fellow judge with me. I'm looking forward to judging some shows with Ian. Who Edge? You know, you're my brother. You know, you've been kicking my ass in jujitsu all this week, which I got the bruises all over me here. <laughs> but whatever, you know, he's still uh, still my man. All right, that's about it. The Olympia? Right. I'm in. Olympia, yeah, sorry. Yeah, looking forward to uh... Olympia this weekend. Can't wait to see you guys again. See you guys in, <laughs> about, uh, see you guys in what? Like four days? Yeah. Three days. All right. I'm, I'm not hanging out with you, Paul, after that fucking period. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come to your booth, Mike, and just punch you the whole time. That was a good one. Okay. All right, Paul. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, all, all right. See you guys in a few days. See you guys in a few days. Later. Yeah. Bye.